Okay, yo, 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 what up? Oh my god, life has a way of getting in the way of all the things you want to do, right? It just has a habit of doing that. How y'all doing today? Happy Tuesday to you. It is a rainy day, therefore we play my favorite rainy day game, Mario Galaxy. I was going to play the 2008 Prince of Persia. I have it on PS3 behind me, but um, I can't get the capture card to work for PS3 and for the PC, PS3 emulator, it don't work. <laughs> so I originally originally tweeted out we were going to play some 2008 Prince of Persia. I just wanted to play something a little relaxing, and um, yeah, that was a no-go. That was a non-starter. What up, Megan? Yo, yo, yo. So couple new things with the stream we definitely I fixed the alert so every time we reach our follower goal I will do a little crab dance um, we can change that up I do have the chat now in the bottom so you guys can read you know the archive stuff that happened just a little while ago if you want to check on your points hit exclamation point points and it'll pop up right here on the stream um, how many points you have um, you could also do exclamation point commands Did it work? <laughs> I swear to God. I have the Tickfinity thing pulled up. Lies. Come on. No, man. I, I swear to God. <laughs> I had it all set up and everything. It, it should be gone. Handle points. Yeah, no. It's it's up, but yeah, I guess it's just not working. Fuck it. Tickfinity can be a real bitch. Alerts are on, actions and events. Uh, if I get over a 300 coin gift, over a $3 gift, uh, we should get a major alert, a text to speech alert to be specific. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying my best, guys. This, this shit is really confusing, <laughs> especially for a fucking idiot like me, so sorry about that. But what up, Alyssa? What up, Christian? How y'all doing? Happy Tuesday to you. We're playing one of my favorite games of all time. Mario Galaxy. I just started up this game file. I don't think I've played this for over a year, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna play willy-nilly, you know? I think I have 42 shine... or whatever they're called. Stars. Thank you for the follow. Alright, we got a follower. We got a follower for the day. That is Jake. How you doing, Jake? Appreciate you being here. Let's see where we gotta go, huh? What's your favorite rainy day video game? Mine has is and always has been Mario Galaxy. I think it was because the first time I experienced this game was <laughs> like coincidentally just while it was raining. So I've always just had good memories associated with rainy days in Mario Galaxy. That's How just a me lady? thing. Lady's doing great. She's she's been extra needy today. I took her on a long walk, but she was kind of following me everywhere. <laughs> like she always follows me everywhere, but even more than normal today. She's like right on my feet. But she's right here. She's just uh It's like a Wii game. This came out on the Wii, dude. I'm playing it on the Switch. I'm playing the Mario 3D um, All-Star Remaster. But this is a Wii game. Yes, it came out in 2007, which was an epic, epic year for all video games. Lots of really good games came out that year. That was also back when Call of Duty um, was actually pretty good. Memory serves. In a while. It's pretty simple, though. I definitely like the Nintendo Switch motion controls better than the Wii. I didn't like the Wii Remote nunchuck having to point all the time. That was the one downside I'd say of playing the original Mario Galaxy. What up, Nick? What up, Devante? What up, Doyen? What up, Doyers? How y'all doing? After shoes die to you, older games are up. Fun and enjoyable, not like most games today with the leaderboard. Everybody's a sweat, sweaty gamer now. Everybody's out to prove something. I don't know when that culture started. Like, it's cool to see people be really good at games, but I think we all forget why games were initially made. Escapism and fun? 
which is what I like to engage in, but a lot of people give me a hard time because um, I'm not good at games. You know, oh, you're not, if you're not the best at this game, why are you even playing it? Oh my god! <laughs> game is super loud on your chat. Okay, thank you. Is that better? I turned it down some. Better? Better? Back air? I like playing as Luigi better in this game anyway. He's slipperier, but jump higher and it just makes the game a bit more challenging in a good way. I remember how to fucking do this. Can I kick him? No, I have to ground pound him. Yeah. Well, never mind. Come get me, bullet bitch. Oh, I'm stuck now. <laughs> okay, let's go take the let's go take the warp pipe then. Because he has an L on his hat. Check this out. I even had this prepared for today's stream. But it doesn't work against the green screen. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> L man. We'll wear it anyway. Fuck it. I still haven't seen the Mario movie. I hear mixed things. Some people say it's amazing. Is this the new Zelda? Yes. I want to play the new Zelda, but I also don't want to ruin it for my viewers, so I've reserved Elbows playing oh Zelda on stream for Saturdays only. Even though it's funny, because I'm not doing anything spoiler-heavy. I guess the glyphs, because I'm just doing side quests. I'm doing zero main quest stuff. Okay, so I want to get these motherfuckers to follow me out here and then chase me. I think Mario Odyssey, I can't throw my hat on it. Fucker! That's what I just said, the hat blends into the green screen, which is why I chose not to wear it, but I'm wearing it anyway. Just said I wasn't gonna. It's the El Bozo Man, that's right. I even have an alert that says I'm an El Bozo when I don't pay attention to the gifts. Any gift that's over 300 coins, which is $3, I will get a text-to-speech alert calling me an El Bozo for not recognizing or paying attention. Oh, let's go. Come on, bullet bitches. No, wear it. <laughs> Galaxy L man. <laughs> I just happened to have this. Because we played like this volleyball game with friends and it was themed, so we all went as like Mario Luigi, Wario, Waluigi, just in the hats. So I've had this for a couple years now. I was like, oh, I could wear the Luigi hat. Oh, it's green, the green screen. I even have the little Luigi plushie, but I figured the Mario one would be more appropriate because it won't <laughs> blend in with the green screen. You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing today? I'm, I'm doing great today, Christian. How you doing? Hope y'all are having a great start of the week. Happy Tuesday. Bring out the green plushie. <laughs> the only thing I forget is you have to hit the right bumper to enact the motion control stuff, because so much of the game is reliant on the motion control. Oh. How many bits do I have? Hey ho, if you need to know, move that comet. We're only 20 star bits. Let's do it. This is Mario Galaxy, originally on the Wii. I'm playing the Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch. Nope, it isn't what I wanted. I didn't have any prankster or anything comets around, I guess. <laughs> oh well. Where we should go? I'm just, I'm just, I have no plan here. 
We're just gonna go wherever we want, go wherever we can. The Mario Galaxy 2, I would agree, is like the better game, but I love Mario Galaxy 1 just for the hub world. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> Alice, you're being gross right now. <laughs> I don't know you, but you just come in here saying I'm gross shit. Magoo. Shit that I heard from seventh grade. <laughs> That's what I wanted. What do you think of the highest selling Capcom game is? It's gotta be a Street Fighter game, right? Is it the various forms of Street Fighter 2 or Street Fighter 4? What I would guess. It ain't Mega Man, that's for sure. Oh, it's that, it's that freaking amazing song, Gusty Garden Galaxy. I did not hit the gust. Monster Hunter World. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Because you love Monster Hunter World, Chrono. You're always talking about it. How's your day going, Cheeks Magoo? You know, the day isn't the best. <clears throat> I've had to do a lot of stuff this morning, and you know, sometimes you're just off in the groove, you know? Things just aren't going exactly as you need them to. It's one of those kind of days, but I'm hoping it gets better. I'm already feeling better playing this game, even though I'm being an L-man playing it. You get anything for beating the game with Luigi? You get a giant L on your forehead. Like, you already beat this game. You completed the game twice, you bozo. No, I don't think you get anything. I think it's just fun. I, dude, I love back when this game came out, getting to play Luigi at the end, because there was all these, like, lies and shit when Mario 64 came out online of, like, you can unlock Luigi! And it was all lies, so I was happy to finally be able to get to play him in this game. And he is different enough to make the gameplay different. Hey, Paul Russ... Paulie Russo, how you doing? We want to break these things because I know you can break them. Bah! Oh god, they can. Bah! Like that. But we got to get star bits. I think that we do want to get star bits to get a secret star on this one. Memory serves. Usually does not. Ooh. I like being able to attack with the B button or with the Y button rather than having to flick the wrist of the Wii remote. I hated that was honestly what held the game back for me. Oh, there's a star in that. How do we break it? Oh, we have to be... We have to get... Whatchamacallit? I don't even remember what it's called now. The star. <laughs> we have to break it with the star. Wizards of Waverly Place. I never watched them. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's the Selena Gomez show, right? I never watched that shit. God, I didn't realize I could jump that far. What's my dialect? <laughs> Stupido? El Stupido? Cool. L-Man dialect. Almost positive there's like a hype or something here that we can get. Get the star. Oh, we get the star from the... I don't even... Well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Grabbing on the different orbits is tough. Fun though, what makes the game super unique. Oh, is there one on the bottom here? Yes, sir. Yeah, it just sounds like a typical cracker accent to me. The chain chomps look derpy in this game. <laughs> they look the same to me as they do always in this. What up, Brandeasy? Well, I grew up and li have lived the majority of my life on the West Coast, so yeah, I would sound normal to a West Coaster. He said his last name is Russo. What, you think it's Russo? Why wouldn't it be Russo? <laughs> when can Alice talk again? I don't know, man. I didn't mute her. I try to tell my mods to mute only for, you know, a couple minutes, and only if they're really, really annoying to mute them for the entire live. But, I don't know. I don't know if they're abusing their power or not, but... If Alice came in here telling seventh grade limericks, do we really want to hear anything more of what she has to say? That shit's boring. He has crusty crabs. <laughs> he was in the toilet. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> you know, that's like, we don't need that shit. It's boring. Pop's hat is invisible. Yeah, green screen shit, baby. Green screen life. Damn, longest, longest the jump in the entire history of Mario. Oh, cool. What's y'all's fa favorite and first Mario game? Mario Galaxy might be my favorite. I don't think it's the hardest, but I just think it's a lot of fun. I love the gimmicks, different planets and the gravities. Big fan of Galaxy. Super Ouija Galaxy. That's right, baby. Ouija time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I lose all my bits for this game. <laughs> yeah. Lucky. Oh. This is the only star that I needed? Well, alright then. This game is really fun. Need to play Mario 64? I've played Mario 64 a whole lot. Some of those hundred coin stars are just really annoying to get. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Miniland Mayhem on the DS was your first Mario game? That's technically not even a Mario game, though. Yeah, Mario's in it, but let's be honest, that's not a Mario game. I'm talking, like, either 2D or 3D Marios. I know that it's technically 2D, but you know what I mean. Like, Mario-centered platforming. That's a Donkey Kong game. Do the Daredevil comment, yeah? The Rainbow Ride 100 Coin Star, that shit was rough. Also, the planet where you can change sizes, where you're like big and small, that one was really tough too.
Hey, thanks for the follow, Pawn Champs. From what I know from Mario, Paper Mario fans, nobody likes Sticker Star. <laughs> The only two Mario, uh, Paper Mario games that I love are their first two, Mario, uh, Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door. Controversial, I know, right? Do I want to get in front of them or something? There we go. Super Mario Bros. Wii was a great game, too. That was a great revival of the 2D genre. The 2D Marios. If I tell you what my first Mario game was, you'll just call me old. It was Super Mario Bros. on the NES. <laughs> but the first one I fell in love with was uh, Mario 3. But I played the Mario All-Stars on Super Nintendo in order to play it. Oh, come back. Come back, Mr. Molman. Hans Molman. Oh, shit. And into the flower. What's the best Mario Party game on the Switch? I think that that All-Stars one one, uh, the All-Stars one is, because it just takes all the mini games and the different stuff from all the, like, original Mario Parties. I didn't- I bought that first one that came out on the Switch, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Where's Doggo? Doggo's right next to me, as always. You can guess where Doggo is. She's sleeping in her bed right next to me. She's being extra needy today, walking in front of my feet and stuff. Everywhere I went, I was trying to get stuff done, and she was always- I was always tripping over her. <laughs> Ooh, Mario Kart Double Dash is arguably the best Mario Kart to this day. I love Double Dash. I need to play that again. It's been a long time. I'm such an El Bozo. I sold my GameCube and all the original games. I was like, won't be needing this anymore. Little did I know that that was like the dumbest decision I'd make. Rare W take. Oh my god. Christ. Dude, this, this community that I've cultivated hates me. <laughs> that was somebody in the chat yesterday too. They're like, one more L take and I'm out of here. <laughs> I have gotten to the Minus World on original Mario. I did way back then. Have you played Mar uh, the actual Mario 2, which are called the Lost Levels in America? Because Mario 2 in America was just... Called like Doki 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 Panic or something. The original Mario 2 is so fucking hard, and that's because Japanese audiences were so good at Mario that they just wanted harder Mario. But like American audiences, they were like, "This is gonna be too hard for them. Like they can't handle it." They were all, all people playing Mario in America at the time were like as good as I am. Ayo, little boy, your cam is being buns. Thank you. See, that's why the text-to-speech is so nice, little boy. Cameras buzz, little boy. I don't know what to do about that. We're just little babies. We're just little babies. Yeah, the one with the weird high wind levels. Correct, correct. Those bastard mods. <laughs> Swag. Dry bones in the dry desert, what do you know? But I think the first Mario game that I like truly loved was um, Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. That game was so good. It was the first game where I actually like figured out secrets I love and that stuff it looks like you're wearing the planet as a hat. Yeah, exactly. We're going full galaxy mode today. The music in all the Mario games are so good, too. So jazzy. Oh, 
El Goomba. <laughs> I love the way Mario and Luigi look when they crouch walk. Thank you for the follow. Where I see it. Thank you, Jared, for the follow. You're looking good. There's something up there that I should grab. No, 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 no. Ah. All right, we can make it to the top. Watch, 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 watch. Wampa Stumpa. You can influence your second jump so much in Galaxy. It's awesome. That's the gim. It's like the gimmick in Mario Sunshine is Flood. The gimmick in Mario Odyssey is Cappy. But the gimmick in Mario Galaxy is this double jump, and it's awesome. I would take a whole game of just regular Mario with this double jump. So sweet. That's why Rosalina has that double jump in the Super Mario 3D world. Oh. Uh-oh. I didn't realize this was quicksand. Gotta get all the bits. The bits actually matter in this. That's why it was it was kind of bullshit. The only two player that you had in this game was you'd give like your little brother or sister the other Wii remote and like collect the bits and they're like, I don't wanna do that, that's boring. And it's like, yeah, but they're important and it's actually easier if you do it, because I don't wanna have to do it while I'm playing. If you had a dedicated bit grabber, they were they were the true goat for you. It was a whole bit. Good first try. That's right, baby. First try every time. First try or bust. Ah! Gotta grab the bits for another one up and some more levels. Ah! I tried to grab them all. Luigi is not second best. You are absolutely wrong about that. Ever since I was a kid, I love Luigi. He is not second best. Luigi's the GOAT, and don't you ever blaspheme him again in my in my stream. There will be consequences, Christian. You've you've done well so far. But you will not slander Luigi in my stream. No way, no how, no second best here. Luigi is arguably braver than Mario. Why do I say this? Can anybody tell me why I say this when his whole thing is being like, Oh, I don't know, Mario. Because what is courage? Tell me. What is courage? Is it ever being afraid? Or is it doing something that scares you even though it's the right thing? Admitting that you're afraid, following through with some and doing something that scares you anyway is the definition of courage. I would argue and posit that Luigi is the bravest character in all of the Mario franchise. Because of course Mario's got that unspoken riz, right? Lu Luigi, he might even have more unspoken riz. Because he doesn't think he has it, but oh my god, he has it in spades. Ah, shit. El Bozo. We're gonna catch ourselves. Oh, nope. We're gonna catch ourselves hopefully here. <laughs> Is this a mod? No. Why does he wear the L? Because his name starts with L? 
as all of our lives do. That's why life starts with an L, because we all got to take the L every once in a while. Ouija wears that L proudly. And he still stands up to the, to the challenges, all right? That's courage. All right, don't jump out of this. Love how much you can influence your I love just in any platformer if you can really influence your jumps. That's why uh, Yoshi's Island is a really good game. You can really control that hover and how and where you want to land. Look at that, it's Chronal. Chronal's playing Fire Emblem, y'all. Thought you were playing Monster Hunter Rise. Rise of the Machines. He does pull Daisy. <laughs> Cause he's a loser. <laughs> Cause he gets nothing but still yeah, he gets none of the recognition, but he still does it. Personally, I think Double Dash gets a nostalgia treatment. It's good, and the double racer part is great creative. But the racing itself has pretty much only improved since then. True. That is a great point. I think the racing has only improved. But I think the reason why Double Dash was so fun was that being able to like hold on to two powers initially thing because of the two characters and it was fun being able to customize whichever racers you wanted to team up you know what i'm saying but then they but then they matched it in um whatchamacallit deluxe mario kart 8 yes. deluxe like ah you get two power-ups twice the fun double the fun we're going to play Ocarina of Time on this stream eventually. We're going to do it all in one sitting. That's one that's near and dear to my heart, just like many others. Luigi is a ride or die on God, on God for real. Dude, He Luigi is that dude. He may not want to follow you to hell, but he will. You know what I'm saying? He'll follow you to the depths of hell. He'll follow you to goddamn insane asylum. He'll rescue you. From a haunted mansion, not once, not twice, but three times, maybe even a fourth time, if one can hope. Pops, where's Doggo? She's right here. She's sleeping. I don't want to disturb her. She's always right here, right next to me in her dog bed. Always, 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 always. If I see her moving around and shit, I'll wake her up. But she's sleeping, I don't want to disturb her. Especially since she was so needy earlier. She needs to finally have chilled out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's the big daddy! Come on, slam me. Come on, slam me. Oh, I guess I gotta slam you. Man, they weren't doing anything try to hurt us and Mario and Luigi just come in there and fuck their whole life up. Sometimes you gotta wonder who the real villain is. After I just got done talking up Luigi like that. <laughs> A bit. Give me the bits, boy, and free my soul. You can do it! How's Fire Emblem? Oh, I should have stayed on that island. I think that there was a star I could have fed or something. Eh, fuck. What me to do to start? We can go back. She definitely leads Bowser on. <laughs> oh, you're victim blaming, huh? Not you victim blaming Peach right now. Hey, you let him on. You know, that's why he keeps coming after you. That's what makes it okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's why we needed the turtle shell to break the crystals. Yo, Sabrina's victim blaming Peach. Yo, she is not an ally. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Is a joke. Is 
There's the last one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. See, I, this is my favorite part of Mario Galaxy that had to do with the motion controls. I loved using the momentum to pull yourself towards the different stars. That's fun. far you can jump with the Z jump. I'm so glad they brought the Z jump back in this. We got rid of the Z jump for Flood. Too fast. Too fast for the thing. Just got an, that's all that we're here for is an extra, ooh, three extra lives. These don't really matter in this game. Plus you can do like infinite live glitch if you put a shell in between two small spaces and just constantly jump on it, it'll be one up, one up, one up, one up. You can do that in pretty much every Mario game, which is. I know it wants me to go there first. But... First. I love Mario Galaxy. Well, that's because you have W taste. Mario Galaxy. We do want to go. Right for, uh, my instincts were correct. Eh, correct. These are bad. All we had to do was the Thank you for the follow, train. Systemic. Systematic. You guys ever get those two words messed up, mixed up, systematic and systemic? I do. Now we go. Now we go to the other side, but we're on a timer. TikTok is TikTok Woods. TikTok Live. Oh, I'm a dingus. <laughs> Thanks for the hand wave, Liz and Margaret. I'm messing up. Light routes and shrine locations are the same. Yes, yes, you can find your way through the depths easier if you find shrines on the surface. Yes, that is a fact. That is true. Isn't that cool? Zelda's so good. I want to play it so bad. <laughs> But I want to vary my stream up, and I don't want it to turn into just spoiling Zelda for people, so we're saving Zelda for Saturday streams. Alright. Try this again. Try not to be an El Bozo about the possible difficulty. Hop and Loch Ness, don't be an El Bozo. Impossible difficulty. I just love the way Luigi jumps in this. Nice systematic. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Tic tac. What do coins do in this? What do coins do in this? I think they give you health. Like if you if you have three bars of health, and if you you're running low on one, you grab a coin and automatically get that health back as well. Yes, I'm currently playing one of the suggestions um, from Sabrina, actually. Sphinx and the Curse of the Mummy. It is a great, great game. It's also pretty hard, which is why I'm taking a little break from it. <laughs> I think we'll be back with it on Friday. Um, but yeah, half of the game yesterday was pretty tough. The Sphinx stuff. And I really loved <clears throat> the mummy. I love the mummy gameplay in that game. Yeah, I need to go back and replay Mario Galaxy 2, EBH. I've played Mario Galaxy 1 many times. I think I've played Mario Galaxy 2 maybe twice. But everybody attests that it's the best one. 
They get rid of the good hub world, though, is my only gripe with it. But they added Yoshi, and Yoshi's fun to play with in that. I got the Mario 3 music here. They got my jam. Bang, bang. I think this is the athletic team, they call it. Ho 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 ho! Big bongo gifts right there! All the bits. I wonder sometimes why other games even try when uh, Mario exists. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like every time I play a platformer, I'm like, it's good, but you know, next time just make Mario. That'd be better. Make Mario next. Ah! I flew over the comet. Oh, this is a good level to farm bits. You have to remember the levels where it's easy to get bits, because bits are what unlock new planets for you when you feed the Lumas. Asshole. There's only like three or four power-ups. I think my favorite one is the spring. Mario Galaxy. B power-ups. Pretty mid. It's fun when you first get it, but after that it's pretty just lackluster. You can crawl on certain things and you can hover for a little. That's about it. That's about all it does. You can't even sting anybody, dude. Might as well call it Mothma Power. You've got Luigi jumping around in a desert that's hotter than the surface of the frickin' sun! You still play Sly? Oh, you're not talking to me. <laughs> you finished Sly 3, I didn't play Sly 4. You don't need to play Sly 4, to be honest. What is your username? They're just like emblems. What should I call you? MNT... Imp, huh? Right then. Should I call you? Should I call you Nymph? <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that might be too... Too much. Might be too familiar. The digging power. Yeah, I think I like the spring the best, because you just have to time the jumps and how he bounces around. It's probably my favorite. We'll go back to Gusty Garden another time. Mountain Nymph. Gotcha. Mountain! Yeah, Sly 1, 2, and 3 are super fun. 2 is still probably my favorite, but they're all good games. This, this, see, I tried to get Sarah into Mario Galaxy because I thought she'd really like it, but she was getting like dizzy and motion sick by way of like the orbits of the planets and how it changes um, gravity in each planet. She's like, I get a headache from this. I'm like, dude, this is damn. Look at that. Got the northern lights on the planet and everything. No, mother, it's just the northern lights. Oh my god, it's just like a Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy puzzle. The water ascending and descending, and we gotta use fire. Are you talking about Donkey Kong Country Returns? We was the goat. You know what? This is a controversial take. I think the Wii U was a completely underrated console, and it's just because it was confusing to people. They thought it was just an add-on to the Wii. The Wii U was amazing. Wii U had so many good games, and it was like the best Nintendo console for emulating with the Virtual Console. For emulating old games. Way better than the Nintendo online service they have now. That's, that's some El Bozo shit compared to the Virtual Console. You know what I'm saying? Oh! 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 Is there a 
better animation than Mario and Luigi holding their butts when it gets lit on fire. Ow, 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 ow. I wanted that coin, you dipstick. Oh, look, he locked me under there. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever happened to me before. Oh, wow, it starts you all the way back here. What does lighting these two on fire do? I didn't do anything like that. Gotta do something, right? Just gotta. I got wombo comboed. Yeah, dude, I got stun locked down there. Where's the fire flower? I gotta light those torches for something. Probably just like extra life or something. I honestly, and I've said this already a couple times, but really, I love the mummy gameplay and Sphinx and the Curse of the Mummy. I think is like the minority, right? I think the majority of people like playing this, probably. Come and get me. What's this? Aha! I got a coin and got my health back and lost it immediately. Classic pop L. Did I ever play? No, I, ha I never played any of the Lego games. I actually played Lego Star Wars for the first time on stream just a little while ago. I know I have to go light the torches now, but I want to see what's up here. Always good to be getting bits. Katie's like slowly inching off of her dog bed. She like rolls around while she sleeps. Come on, camera, don't be a PS2 game. No. Run! We did it! Yeah, I didn't play any of the Lego games, but I did love, I still do love Legos, like actual Legos. And I did have a lot of fun with uh, those Lego, the Lego Star Wars games and stuff. I really did. Ooh, I forgot you can be Iceman in this. Oh my god. Momentum is so weird with this. He had fun, even though it was a baby game. I had fun even though it was a baby game. I love baby games. Baby games are like my favorite. Oh! I tried to get fancy with it at the end. <laughs> That's what I get. I wish his fireballs were green. You and me both, bro. And I wish that his color changed to the original Luigi color, which was white and green. Does it? His, I mean, like, he was white and green even without the fire power up. In the original. <laughs> How are you playing with Luigi? Um, if you beat the, if you get all 120 um, stars or whatever they're called in this, I think they're just stars, right? Then you unlock Luigi. 
who plays just a little bit different. He's got he's a little bit slipperier, but he's also All he jumps higher. Was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow, Sloan. Alright, start taking your time a little bit. I should grab this extra life. I'm gonna keep playing the way that I am. Alright, let's not go for the big bongo jump. There we go. Thank you for the GG, Fio. I'm at 90 stars, so thank you so much for that tip. Yeah, enjoy it. It's it's super, this game is so good. It's so much fun to play. I mean, every 3D Mario, I think, deserves to be completed, maybe except for Mario Sunshine, because there's some, there's some fuckery with that one, but yeah, um, it, this one I think is perfect to complete, and then replaying it again with Luigi is like, that's a sign of a good game to me too, is like as soon as I uh, completed and got all 120 stars, my hat is the same color as the green screen, yes, that's why it's blended in. I said I wasn't going to wear it for this reason, but everybody's like, you should anyway, because you're the L King. Like, that's all that really matters, so I was like, okay, so I decided to wear it. And that's why I have Mario up here instead of the Luigi plushie, because last time the green screen fucked him up too. This game is so goaded, I never get bored playing. Seriously, no, you're not wrong, Edson. I, that's how I feel about this game. That is exactly how I feel, brother. The L King? That's messed up. Dude, that's my community, man. My community hates me. <laughs> It's all right. We have fun here. At the end of the day, it's about having fun. Oh shit, I walked right underneath that, didn't I? When are you going to play Sphinx again? Friday. I will be playing Sphinx again Friday. We're going to play Kakarot tomorrow for Weeb Wednesday. And we're gonna kick off right where we left off, which was the free like Frieza. We're just gonna start fighting Frieza. We just beat Ginyu, the rest of the Ginyu Force, so it'll be a lot of fun. I like to geek out about Dragon Ball Z. It's like one of the few things that I, I like to nerd out about, so it'll be fun. If you like Dragon Ball, if you've never experienced it before, you should come by. It's a fun time. Even Swag said he had a good time and he knows nothing about Dragon Ball. You. No, I actually need that shell. For I need to break something open as this tower rises. Fire rises. On one side of the mountain or of the tower, there's like a treasure chest or something we gotta break open. Aha! There it is. Oh, out of my way, dry boners. And the last one's got to be on this side somewhere, because I hit every other side. Oh, where could it be? Oh my goodness, I almost jumped into the quicksand. There it is. I was right. It was wholesome watching you nerd out, weeb out about it. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun tomorrow, too. I, I intend to talk a lot about my L opinions on uh, the Frieza saga. God, the Frieza saga was such a trying time for those who were watching it for the first time in the States. We were just waiting for them to finish the dub, and they just like, it took them forever, so it would just reset. Like It would get up to the point where Goku was about to turn Super Saiyan, and it would just reset it back to the Saiyan Saga. Like It did it like three times before it finally progressed, and we got to see the yellow hair. Gotta be something to do on that. Oh, we want to kick... We want to kick... 
melons to that planet so that we can use the melons to take out the L man, El Bozo. The other one, not me. How do I stream my gameplay? Well, I stream it from my PC. Um, for console games like this, I hook up my Elgato capture card. Uh, but typically, I just window capture on my um, PC. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. This is the Switch version, yeah, yeah. This is oh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. How you doing, Cupid? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a nice Tuesday. Nice start of your week. I was a little hectic this morning, but having fun now. You know, yeah, it was supposed to be red. The whole reason he turned Super Saiyan is because apparently, and I don't know if I buy this, but this is what I've read and heard. Uh, they were tired of coloring in the black hair. So in the manga, because it's all black and white, his, his Super Saiyan hair was just, you know, not colored in. And then the Lord Slug movie, Super Saiyan hadn't reached the states yet, and I think in the Lord Slug movie he was meant to go Super Saiyan, but the, the dub, like, didn't know that. So they just gave him, like, a reddish hue. Some of those Dragon Ball movies range from being amazing to just really bad. <laughs> Lord Slug was okay. I think my favorite Dragon Ball movie was World's Strongest. It's just so weird, but it's it's really entertaining, and the fight scenes are really good. Plus, you have that. No, no, no. Dead Zone is when Gohan eats the, like, psilocybin fruit and has a little trip out. Hey, thanks for the follow, Explicit. Oh, we're one away from our goal, y'all. Hopefully that the, the goal works. The goal animation that I set up. Hopefully it works. We're just gonna have to see. Raging Blast 2 was fun. There was a lot of good Dragon Ball games. I'm currently stuck on this level and makes me so frustrated. The upside down angle gets me. Yeah, when it inverts the controls, it gets really tough. You're not wrong, Lizzie. Why is it playing double? This sounds awful. This sounds awful. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> thank you, thank you for the follow. Thank you, we reached our goal. Oh, look at that, we, we got like three follows all at once. Thank you, Ross Gowan. thank you, Lonnie Bear, thank you, Jansnin. Oh my god. I think it's because I have it set up on two of them, so we heard it on both, so I'll turn it off on the, uh... All we had to do was follow the damn I'll turn it off on <laughs> Twitch, maybe. Hopefully it won't double up like that again. That was weird. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Chris. And I just gotta do this stuff DIY. Speedy Comet. Let's try it. Yeah, none of those original movies are canon. Well, because they're in like weird time frames too. Where it's like, wait, Gohan was already trained by Piccolo, but Goku's still alive? And they're all hanging out together? That didn't make any sense. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are my favorite game. You got great taste, brother. Yeah, those are some of my favorite games ever. I've replayed this game so many times. It's been over a year since I've replayed this, but... Oh, it's one of my favorites ever. Eva, Eva, Eva. We just have to beat this level fast, apparently. We've already beaten this level, but... Speedy Comet requires us to beat it quicker. Here comes the money. money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. 
All right, be quicker. We got four minutes. My sister and I bonded over this game an entire summer break. I love hearing stories like that. When I was playing Jack 2, this person came in and it was like, this game reminds me of hanging out with my dad because we played Jack and Daxter all the time together. And when Jack 2 came out, we were both like stunned in the direction they took it. And I'm like, I love hearing stories like that. That to me is what makes gaming so unique among other media, you know, movies and TV and other great things is your experience with it is your own, you know? And it's never anybody else's. It never can be. And that's what's great about Zelda games, especially ones like Breath of the Wild and um, Tears of the Kingdom is like, everybody's gonna have a wildly different experience just based on their play style, based on their decisions. And I, I think it's a beautiful thing. I needed that bill for a treasure chest, I think. Okay. We literally just did this. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. How do you play with Luigi? You complete the game with Mario. You get all 120 stars and you unlock Luigi. Which isn't the hardest to do. It's definitely not as hard as getting all the stars in Mario 64 or Sunshine. But there's some harder ones. The ones where you have to collect all the purple coins can be tough. All right, this bullshit again. Try to do it quicker. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow, Raven. Appreciate you. Welcome to the channel, y'all. I am Poppin' Loch Ness. We like to play a lot of classic games here, mostly of the PS2 era variety. This one kind of counts, it's a little bit after that. 2007, I think, is when this came out. Goated year for video games. Just look at all the games that came out in 2007. This was a great year for all games and gamers. Oh, they got rid of the enemies here. I just thought it'd be too hard, I guess. They left the enemies in for this part. I can take it. But uh, we like to have fun here. I'm not the best gamer, but I like to have a positive attitude and have goofy ass fun. Kind of the band kid variety. I'm, I wasn't a band kid, but I've, I love that goofy ass humor. Jack Black is my spirit animal. Love that dude. And uh, that's the kind of vibe that we're trying to go for here. And uh, we don't shame anybody for being bad unless we're just doing it out of jest. It's just a fun time here. I hope that you can come by and hang out with us. Does the game change at all with Luigi, or does it just switch characters? Well, it changes from the standpoint of Luigi plays differently than Mario. He has uh, less traction, which means he kind of slips around a bit more, which makes that's the harder part of playing with him. But he also jumps higher. So you have more control with your jumps um, at a cost of not being able to control your run as well. Thank you for the like, Steph. Always tapping that screen. Pops a baby gamer. They do triple jumps differently. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at his Z jump. He goes almost off the screen there. He gets really high, Luigi. And he can jump really high. <laughs> Sunshine, I would agree, is harder than uh, all of the 3D Marios for a lot of different reasons. You got the lily pad level. You got the sand bird. You got... You got a lot of things in that game. The pachinko machine. Blasting through the sand. Unbaked castle. Right, let's try these mystery stars here. Hello, fellow babies. What up? Meeg is in the building, y'all. Pops Number is a one baby supporter. Gamer. Pops is a baby gamer. Correct. Same. I'd be bouncing on it every couple of months. Fuck yeah. This is a game that... This, there's certain games that part, are part of my annual playthrough where I'm like, I gotta play that at least once a year. Jack 2 is one of those. Um, Ocarina of Time is one of those. And the Mario Galaxies are definitely one of those. These games just relax me and I have so much fun with them. They're not such high stakes that I'm stressing out like in Mario Sunshine or even some of the stars in Mario 64. Like, I just think it's such a good game. All right, there's there's a secret star here. I have to remember where 
it is and how to get it. I think we almost got it on the first go. I think I have to collect a lot of bits, that's for sure. Usually what the secret stars require. Hey, thanks for the GG's. Hey, Broly likes Master... I don't know if I've ever seen Broly interact with Master Roshi. I haven't watched any of the new Super, though. Oh, shit. I needed that turtle shell. I look down. There it is. Okay, let's try it. No! Okay. Try it. Let me get me dry bunnins. Toy Time Galaxy was always my favorite galaxy. I liked what was. I can't even remember their names anymore. I always draw. I always get brain farts whenever I'm streaming because I'm thinking about 10,000 different things. I'm inducing ADD on myself, I always say. Um, like, what's it called? The, like, Gus, not Gusty Galaxy. The Rock Planet. I just love the music in that. Fuck, I missed the turtle shell again. Let's get the turtle shell and do it up again. Shit! Threw it as soon as I grabbed it. Freeze frame galaxy was pretty sweet, yeah. I do like the toy uh, galaxy because I like that puzzle where you can only step on the... Pl you have to get like from one end of the gauntlet to the other and you can only step on the platforms like once before they disappear or start turning. I love that. I love lamp. Oops. Aw, oh, you bastards. You sons of Big bitches. Look you well, Bozo. Hey, it doubled up on sound, but it worked. Thank you for the big gift. You got the Corgi on skates gift. Thank you so much. Why did it double up on sound, though? Twitch. Maybe that's why, because I'm running on Twitch and TikTok. All right, I think this is where... You get a secret star somewhere. You got it, little boy. <laughs> Thank you, seriously, for the gift, Megan. I appreciate your constant support of the channel. Constant support. Did the alert pop up that you got the Riz on God on God for real? I didn't even see. There's too much going on. <laughs> little boy. You won't get far, little boy. Okay, so I think it's on this planet. Secret star. Right? Nope. Maybe not. Shit, where is this? I have to skip this one and come back to it. Thought nice, nice, nice. I did not see. It. I was I was messing with that late last night, trying to get it right. I'm like, I gotta get this right. There's like, why aren't you coming to bed? I'm like, I gotta get this right. Otherwise, I'm just an L man. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's all the way at the end of the fucking level. Not this one. Okay, I must have just missed it along the way somewhere. We're just doing this whole thing over again at this point.
Hey guys, if you donate over 300 coins, which is $3, you get a very special alert. And it doubled up on the sound, but I think I fixed it. Oh, we're only four away from our next follower goal, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, moving upside down and how the controls change is definitely tough. Fuck. Say bye to Miga. Oh, you're going? You're hopping on a plane? Yeah, have a safe flight. Thanks thanks for stopping in and hanging out. Always appreciate you, Mig. Thanks again for the support. Hey, we got another follower, too. Thank you for the follower, Luna. I must have missed it along the way. Oh, well. You got it, little boy. <laughs> the music for the beach galaxies is so good. Yeah, true, true. I missed the chest pops. Oh, are you talking about from earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we already got that one. Let's let's do those secret ones another time. Hey, thank you for the follow, David and Yahir. Two... Two mystery ones there. Let's just go to a different world. Doubling up again! What do I do? Thank you, thank you guys for the follows. I really appreciate it. And I'm wasting my bits right there. Does it double- does it sound double up for you guys too? Honestly, a great remix. <laughs> All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Even if it's on the Switch. I mean, I have the original copy. I have it right back here. But, yeah, I mean, th there's not much difference between this and the original. Do I have 800 bits? Why won't it let me see? Oh, I definitely... Let's, let's unlock a planet, shall we? All we had to do was follow Thank you for the follow, Joshua. Does the music sound okay on your guys' end? Because it's like doubled up on my end and I'm hearing two like being played at the same time with one like one second off. So it sounds weird for me. <laughs> I'm always going to change the follower um, animation and sound too. It won't be the crab dance every time. I want to, if anybody's got any fun ideas, um, I'm open to suggestions. Like, I'm open to literally anything. Maybe just even showing the full San Andreas, Big Smoke. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Ransform. It's true, this is a peak game. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong about it. Mentally taking notes while watching the stream for when I played tonight. Oh, <laughs> well, there are certainly a lot better players to take notes from. I'm just, I'm just vibing. <laughs> I'm not doing particularly well, but I do love this game. My hideaway. It's the perfect spot for fishing and being left alone. This guy's the goat. This is, this guy's my spirit animal right here. Jack Black and this guy. We gotta break that open with a golden shell, I think. The golden shell. Golden eye, his eye is golden. Pop, lock, and drop it. The pop and lockness monster. I need air. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. a close one that's my grandpa of Johnny Tsunami impression how do you play as Luigi you get all 120 stars as Mario your reward for completing the game I didn't realize your air goes down even more Jeez. when you spin I don't know if I ever I, I probably did know that at some point but I forgot <laughs> I forgot right now Yeesh. Def knows. Def is a Johnny Tsunami stand.
Yeah, it'll if you just type in multiple letters, it'll just be like E E E A A A. That happened when uh, she tried to do text to speech, Megan, with Dayum, and it was like D A Y Y U U U U M M M M. It just doesn't work for everything. Technology, what is it all about? Lego Island 2? I don't know if I know that game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Except it's usually not in the game. It's usually in the DLC or in the patch notes um, a year later. Oh, I love... Love this. I love this so much. Alright, now we gotta go back and use the golden shell on the golden treasure chest. Ooh, 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 watch out, jellies. Well, now we got booze, but we can erase them with the light, with the golden light. Power of Christ compels you. Oh, you fucking bitch. I thought I was shining the light on him. Oh, well. El me. El Nino. Yeah, I just started playing today, but this is definitely not my first playthrough of Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's no big deal. Honestly, the best kind of games are like the ones where you're Mullet not Man. that frustrated to go back and do whatever you gotta do again. And Mario is the epitome of that for me. I'm like, oh no, I gotta play more Mario? Oh no. What a terrible, terrible... Oh my god. <laughs> I almost got hit again. What a terrible thing. Play more Mario. Keep walking, crab. Keep walking sideways, crab man. Captain Toad, I think this is his first appearance. I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Anyway, here's the star I found here. No, really, it's yours. Captain Toad, baby. The Captain Toad games are actually really good. I'm on the Switch. Yeah, I'm playing the 3D All-Stars version of this. Which honestly, I I prefer playing on a on a controller over the nunchuck. There were some nice things about playing on the nunchuck. Like I used to just like play with my hands like on my lap or at my sides you know, at my side. But I hated having to point at you know the motion bar. At least with this, like you can be anywhere and just use the motion. It's way easier. Do they not have 3D All-Stars on digital anymore? Just check this out. I'll show you guys something. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Hurry up already, huh? So I'm playing the digital version of this because I bought it like right right when it came out. But I also have an unopened copy of the um, physical version, which, you know, they said was limited release. And now I'm seeing it go up in value. So that was a good idea. I'm planning on doing the same thing with uh, Tears of the Kingdom because physical copies of Nintendo games only go up in value. So I usually like to get them digitally to play and then this for, you know, a payday later. And yeah, look, I have the original. For the Wii in my library, but I'm not playing the Wii right now. I'm playing the Switch. Let me buy it off you. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna hang on to this one for a bit. They need to re-release Mario Galaxy 2 on the Switch. It's it's total bullshit that they don't have that. Collector's edition of Zelda games always go up in value. Nintendo in general, always, like, the value of their physical copies always go up. That's just always been a thing. Because, let's be honest, Nintendo makes some of the best first-party games ever. That's the reason they can get away with so much bullshit that they do. Is because they just put out such good games. 
Go to the drip drop. Sure. Wait, did we already do this one? I got an L note. Oh, this is the galaxy I was saying that I liked. Like the something rock, space rock or something. Put it in here. Let's figure it out. It's already up 90. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's it's only gonna keep going up. Oh, the Wii is such a good, such a good console. I got lots of stuff to do in here, though. I should come back. No, I want to go get Luigi now. I wish that they... That's one thing that's different is, like, you know, you have to go save Luigi as Mario. I wish that you can go save Mario as Luigi. That's just a small nitpick. It's really not... But, yeah, you just have to save Luigi as Luigi. They do call attention to it, where he's like, Hey, what are you doing here? I thought I was you. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Reaper. Forgot Luigi meets Luigi. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> the Wii U was goaded, though, too, because you could play Wii games on the Wii U. Ooh, the hurry scurry. I love this one. Let's do this one. We're here for it. Nintendo Land was really fun on Wii U, too. I'd put it up there with Wii Sports. Nice Cole Miller like, because when it's Miller time, it's mullet time. What up, mullet, dude? What's going on? How you doing? Nintendo Land was so underrated. Dude, Wii U in general was so underrated. Most of all the, like, really good Wii U games, like Pikmin 3 and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze were all ported over to the Switch. And those were all Wii U games. I mean, Mario Galaxy, or not Mario Galaxy, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was a Wii U game. People forget this. Let's see if I can get this right. They just throw that one on the side just to mess, just to cross you up there. I love this shit. The purple coin one for this one is super fun too. What's poppin' poppin'? Not much, brother, not much. We're just hanging out on a rainy day Tuesday. This is my rainy day game always. Something about the music and the feeling of it all just like sits so nicely with the drip drop of the rain on the window pane. <laughs> Breath of the Wild was technically a Wii U game. You're not wrong about that. That's what I'm saying. I'm playing this on the Switch. I'm playing the Mario 3D All-Stars. Which I think is the superior way of playing, to be honest. I mean, they're both good. There's minor differences. This is Space Junk Galaxy. I love Space Junk Galaxy. This is the one that I was talking about. Yeah, the music for this game is unparalleled good. You ain't wrong, Lizzie. Reaper says the music in this game was integral to my childhood. I listened to it when I study. Dude, it's funny you say that because when I'm editing and working and stuff, sometimes I'll just throw on the Mario Galaxy soundtrack. Also, the Banjo Kazooie soundtrack. I love the Banjo Kazooie soundtrack so much. A good platformer on a rainy day is what everyone needs in their life. You ain't wrong about it, Mullet. I feel the same exact way. What do you gotta say about it? Luigi, my brigade boarded the enemy fleet and none have returned. Oh shit, you just sent them all to their deaths. You sent them to a massacre, Captain Toad. You better take responsibility for that. You better go down with the ship. Conker's Bad Fur Day soundtrack was pretty good, yeah. My first time playing Conker's Bad Fur Day, I will admit, was not on the Nintendo 64. It was on the Xbox, the live and reloaded one. That one was fun, to though, too. Minor changes. You lied. Thanks for the share, Sabrina. Oh yeah, an easy way to gain the system, guys, with points is by sharing, because you get an automatic. I changed it. You get an automatic ten points if you share, and then you can use that if you're a follower only um, for text to speech, and then to use text to speech. It'll spend, I think I reduced it to 
10 or 15 points, so you won't have to spend that much. Um, exclamation point TTS. Give me the shell. Ooh, the bits. Always grab the bits. The bits are super important. I used to not think they were, but then I realized I was an L man and they are very important. Asshole! He tried to get me while I was picking up my shell. Tried to cross me up just like Street Fighter. Love this game. Because you got good taste, Gregory. That's why. You're one of the good ones. You're what we call a real gamer. You're not a real gamer unless you've experienced all that is Mario Galaxy. How fucking amazing. This is a top tier game in my opinion. Like This is like a masterpiece of a game. Three away from our next goal, y'all. Can I hit him? Oh, I can. Nice. Need to make a third. I want a Mario Sunshine too. I love Flood. I love using the hover, the jet for Flood. It's so much fun. As good as Mario Odyssey was, Galaxy 1 and 2 are easily the best 3D Mario games. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all subjective. I, I don't like comparing goats. Like, I have my personal preferences, but I don't think there's, like, objective good and bad. Everybody likes what they like for different reasons. Um, but you can't deny what an accomplishment Mario Odyssey was. Mario Odyssey is so good. Oh, it's so good. And to be honest with you, I think I like Bowser's Fury, even though it's, like, kind of equivalent of like a DLC. I like that as one of my favorite 3D Mario experiences. They blended the elements of 2D Mario into that perfectly. I never thought I'd see the day where you get like little Mario and big Mario like in the 2D games in a 3D setting. It's awesome. Wait, is that all that's there for so I can get into the... I thought there was something else. Never mind. Galaxy games remain my favorite 3D games. Yeah, they're they're probably my personal favorite of all the 3D Marios. I love them for so many different reasons. Also, just the nostalgia of playing them for the first time. Such a good time. Gonna give me a shell. Gonna give me ammo. Take that! Oh, I angled it, but it didn't work. Yeah, about, and you know what? Mario 3D World is an underrated game too. It's it's god damn it. It's not as good as, you know, the other 3D Mario games, but it is really good and it's all worth it just to play Champions Road. Champions Road, which is the very last level in the game, is one of the best Mario levels I've ever played. Champions Road is a is a really really hard test of your skills, but it's so fun. And then, it's not enough to just beat it with one character, right? You have to beat it with Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Rosalina. Rosalina is the easiest, I think, to beat with. Um, and then probably Peach, because she has a hover. But, um... But beating that level with Toad is really fucking hard, because his jump is ass. God damn it, I'm ass. What are these wizard guys called again? These guys are dickheads in every game. Oh, we got the landmine. A shot. Got him. Alright, I think that was three. Pamex, yeah, like the Namekians. I never got into 3D World. Yeah, I mean. It's because that game starts out so baby easy that it turns off a lot of people. They're just like, nah, fuck this. 
but it gets good. <laughs> it gets really good, especially when you get into the Star Worlds. That game's a lot of fun. Yeah, Mario and Luigi are the only options in Mario Galaxy, and I don't even think you can play as Luigi in Mario Galaxy 2. I'm, I don't know if I'm correct. I think maybe in like a few levels you play as him, but it's not like this where you can play the whole game as him. There's only like certain levels you can play as Luigi, but I don't think you can play the whole game Mario Galaxy 2 with Luigi. Memory serves. Mario Galaxy 2 was way harder. It was way more of a challenge. Um, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> what are your opinions on Super Paper Mario? You mean the first Paper Mario that was on the Wii? Um, first, I haven't played it since it came out, but I liked it. It wasn't your typical Mario, Paper Mario experience. It wasn't an RPG. But there was a lot of good stuff in that game, from what I remember. And it was very creative, and the story was pretty fun and funny. Um, it was just really long, and that's also a game that just takes a thousand years to get going in. Love the green screen hat. That's right, baby. Thank you for the follow, 1000 Tay. Galaxy 1 is so easy. Yeah, it's a nice, relaxing experience. Yeah, I, I miss the hub world from Galaxy the most. That was the one thing that I, I liked more than uh, Galaxy 2. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Yeah, it's all just a matter of what you're trying to go for. Everybody games for different reasons, right? So of course, the sweaties are going to like 2 more every time because like, look how good I am. I have shit. But um, they're both great games. I hate when people compare goats. They're both great. Join them for what they are. Oh, I gotta pay this guy. I gotta... Shit, I gotta get the, the bits. Probably needs like 50, I guess. 50 or 40. 50! Yeah, okay, so let's go get some bits, hopefully. Back. Back, right? Actually, <laughs> um, actually, sweaty, you can play as the Wii game Mario Galaxy 2. Get it right. If I drop down here, can I get back up? Go get some bits, hopefully, and come back. So close. Six more. And that should be enough. Five. Yeah. See how he slides like that a little bit? That's what makes it a little bit harder. It doesn't land as he. All we had to do was. Stressful, no shot. Yes, we made it to our new follower goal. Thank you, Ivan, for putting us right over. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. We reached our next follower goal, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for following, supporting the stream. We are so close. Eating food to this, way too dank. <laughs> Opinions on Thousand Year Door? I think Thousand Year Door is like the best Paper Mario ever. <laughs> I got Personally. You. Grab Rave, baby. New planet born. Have I done this one yet? I, I might have done this already. Yay! We got 30 more followers. Guys, we're very close to monetizing the channel. We're so close to 10,000 followers. We're on the cusp of greatness. Gained a couple thousand followers just from streaming alone. I gotta start posting more short form content. But um, yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to the YouTube. Everything is in the link tree in my description on TikTok if you want to support the channel. It really helps me out. Um, whether it be 
we had to do was follow the damn train. Monetarily or not, it helps. Even just a simple subscription. Long way. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Noah. Thank you for the follow, Ellipsis. But I'm pretty sure Luigi is stuck on this level and we have to go rescue him. I love pulling up TikTok, watching someone chat and play some nostalgia games. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Glad I can be that guy for you today. We're trying Cheers. to get my boy paid for entertaining us and getting cyberbullied by his viewers. It's true. Right now, I'm just getting cyberbullied for free. All we had to do I'd like to get paid for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We have to give a shout out to Sabrina and Megan. All they we they were goaded with the gifts. Train, CJ. Yes, Thousand Year Door is amazing. I was thinking about playing it on stream. I just don't know how much fun people have watching turn based RPGs on stream, but it's. Makes it easier for me as a streamer to, you know, I can take my time away and, and look at the chat and it, not everything has to be like completely glued to the screen. So in that sense, it would be good. But I just don't know how much fun people have with that. Thank you for the follow, Ethan. Thank you, Michael. Also, I'd love it. <laughs> well, Cyclone Cl Cupid would love it. So let's put it on the on the docket. Yeah, I like to appease my streamers. I plan on playing all the games you guys suggest and recommend. Just got to do it in my own time, you know. We already got Mummy and the Sphinx. I played fucking Sly 4 for you guys. I played that entire game and collected every bottle. You should play Hollow Knight. <laughs> That's a joke from Swag because I played Hollow Knight almost to completion when it was just him watching. <laughs> and he was guiding me through it because he knows everything about Hollow Knight. That game was hard as fuck. But it was super worth it just to complete the Path of Pain. That shit was so hard, but it was so... Recording. Speedy comment. Let's go. Thanks for the rose, Zuhair. Appreciate you. W live. Oh, thanks, Michael. Appreciate you. Common swag, W. Mm. Hollow Knight is one of the best games I've ever played, but it's also one of the hardest games I've ever played. <laughs> Thousand Year Door is also my favorite R uh, Mario RPG, and then it would be Mario um, Paper Mario 64 right after. The first two Paper Marios, I think, are the best ones. Ocarina of Time soon? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do this thing called Zelda Saturdays, and it's not going to be just Tears of the Kingdom. We're definitely going to play Ocarina of Time. I'm going to do Ocarina of Time in one sitting, because that's one thing I used to do with my buddy all the time. So we're gonna, But we're going to play everything. We're going to play... Um, we're gonna play Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, maybe Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is kind of my least favorite of the 3D Zeldas, but I plan on playing them all eventually. Zelda is one of my favorite franchises ever. I know, crazy, right? Um, but yeah, there's gonna be lots of love for Zelda coming up here. All I can think about with whatever game I'm playing, even th this one that I love so much, is playing Tears of the Kingdom. That game, that game will go down in history as one of the greatest of all time. Like, Breath of the Wild, what? Breath of the Wild felt like a fucking test run demo compared to Tears of the Kingdom. So sweet. All right, we gotta slingshot our way with these things. You hang on to it for a little bit and then you let go. Little bit, then let go. Little bit, then let go. Little bit, then let go. Oh! No! But I thought that I got fucked there. We gotta be speedy about this, guys. Wait, where the fuck? Gotta free all the toads. Free the toads, free the toads. You got Tears of the Kingdom today? 
Oh my god, I'm je I'm jealous of anybody who gets to play that game for the first time. The first like hour of that game, I wish I could go back and experience it again. <laughs> it was like the best ever. That's like when people were telling me like, oh man, I'm jealous of you playing Sly Cooper for the first time. I wish I could experience it again. Like that's how I, I already feel about Tears of the Kingdom. Go there yet? Eventually you have to do this level with the purple coins, and that's pretty tough. This this level can be a little tough with Luigi because of his slippery nature. You have to be careful not to get too slippery. Oh wait, this is where the star is at the very end. Oh my god. Sometimes you get locked in the, the, going in a circle and trying to move around. Alright, it's gonna be a close one. Alright, we still have 50 seconds. I think we can do this. Gotta make it all the way back now. That's the trick. It makes you move this way, like goddamn Crash Bandicoot. Oh! Alright, not so bad. The purple coin one of that one is way harder. I am taking my time and enjoying it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too, Steph. I haven't done any of the temples or anything or any of the main quest stuff. I'm just walking around and there's literally the game is so dense with things to do. You just happen upon shit. All I do, at least all the time. Oh, I guess I'll go do this now. Oh, I guess I'll go do this now. This is awesome. I fucking love that game. It's me. I am the pro me. No, I don't think is Luigi in this one. He's in one of the space junk galaxies. I can't remember which one. I just did the first temple after 50 hours. Yeah, I don't even want to look at how many hours I have in the game. <laughs> I ain't about that. Aaron Tox's Tangled Web. Oh, Sedan is back. Is that how you pronounce his name? The fish man? The, the fish with all the riz. Fish man with all the riz. So many funny memes about like wanting to fuck him. <laughs> he was really good in, um, what is it? Age of Calamity. The Hyrule Warriors game. Surprisingly really good. I traveled in time so that players could play as me. I love this move. This is quintessential relaxing music. Mario Galaxy. The Sly Five. What up, Nova Black? What up, my dude? The goat has entered the chat, everybody. Go hang out with him on Twitch. He deserves to have your company. Cupid's there, play Kingdom Hearts again. I, I am gonna, I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts again. I'm gonna hate it all the while, but I'm going to. On a little thing we call Weeb Wednesdays. I gotta beat Kakarot first, though. Then we'll go back to Kingdom Hearts. Plus, I think a lot of people wanted to see me play Dark Cloud 2, which from, I like looked it up and I'm like, this just looks like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like, y'all really want me to just play these games to see me rage about them. <laughs> Soundtrack is too good. Yeah. The best games have the best soundtracks, and Nintendo, they got that on lock. First they had the GOAT Koji Kondo. Now they got some other guy, but he's good too. You know Koji Kondo. Oh, I love this shit. I love getting stuck in the shit and launching. He just sent that. <laughs> he just sent that toad. Oh, God. Gotta use the 
great. I actually love the... Hey, did you like my shot? Woo, thanks! <laughs> I'm gonna live here now. I'll have the walkthrough pulled up and I'll still fucking mess it up. That's the thing. People said they were doing the same thing. Can I get out of this? Oh. I just launched. Oh no, I launched too far. Oh, no, I didn't. I wanted to get that red um, mushroom. Oh. Get away from me, spiders. The spider. Goddamn she lob. Grab him. Boing, what an L. Oh, spider boss. Yeah, that's right. Are we weird, bestie? <laughs> yeah, you are, but in a good way. Super Luigi Galaxy, you ain't wrong. Oh wait, I want to hit the butt. Shit. Out of there. Gotta free that toad eventually. Keep running. Show me your butt. Show me your butt. Two. Got three. All right. Only like ten more times now. Oh, he is fucking pissed now. Boss is so nasty. <laughs> Maybe you have arachnophobia. <clears throat> is it possible that you actually have arachnophobia? This is also a good mechanic for the motion control that I, I will defend. Honestly, this is probably my favorite Wii game. Eva. Get out of there, Toad. The juice. Yeah, the green juice that he shoots out. Yeah, that is nasty. Most sus level. <laughs> Sussy spider with the slussy spider slussy. Mario Sunshine, yeah, there's a little bit of jank in Mario Sunshine, but you can't deny the personality of that game and all the fun that there is with the platforming. Mario with a hover, oh my god. Started up Shadow of War for the hundredth time. That game's amazing too. I would say that that's one of the best Assassin's Creed games ever. Like, I think Shadow of War and Ghost of Tsushima are like way better Assassin's Creed games than Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft can suck me. All right, Luigi is stuck in one of the space junk galaxy. Oh no, it's this one, Battle Rock Galaxy. This is where he's stuck. That's right, W Gabe to be honest. Yeah, no, true. True. I've had, so I don't own, like I don't buy plushies is what I mean. I do own three or four of them. And I've had these since I was like really, really little. So they're old. I have a Donkey Kong one. I have a Mario one. I have a Luigi one and a Diddy Kong one. The original, the original um, gaming duos. Mar Donkey Kong and Diddy, Mario and Luigi, baby. I was so stoked when they added Diddy to Smash. I'm a huge Diddy stan. Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. There's one where you have to clean up, like, trash and debris on this one. I can't remember if I did that already or not. But, um, that one could be tough. Oh.
in order to get there, you need to have enough bits, so if I haven't done it, grab some bits and try, shall we? Your Wii is fried? <clears throat> Usually the fan goes out first on the Wii. I got my fan replaced on it, but honestly, I never use my Wii anyway, because I just use my Wii U. But right now, my buddy is borrowing my Wii U so that he can play um, Wind Waker HD. He'd never played Wind Waker before. So I was like, here you go. But he has my Wii U on him right now. And he's also never played Chrono Trigger, and I have Chrono Trigger on there on the virtual console, so I told him to play that too. One of the best games ever. That's like, that's my favorite RPG. Like, I'm not a big RPG guy, but I think that game is a masterpiece, and I will play it anytime, anywhere, all the time, everywhere. Chrono Trigger is so good. One of the best. Okay, so I have done that one. You love the stars right there. But we already cleaned up the dirt and debris. No big deal. Yeah, my GameCube still runs well. I sold all my GameCube games, but I still have my GameCube. Isn't that weird? And I and I actually still have my original copy of Thousand Year Door. I only have a couple games for it still. I have Melee, of course. I did not sell Melee. <laughs> I like sold all my games. I sold my Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. All these games I played a fuck ton on my uh, GameCube, but not Melee, because I'm like, this is this is one that you don't sell. You don't sell this game. I just knew. Somehow. Alright. Gonna have to slingshot. Oh! We finessed our way into it. That's right, baby. It worked. I guess I just haven't done the regular one of this. Regular star. Can I not get up there right now? Yes, I can. That's just for bits. Eh, we need him. We need him to unlock planets, alright? Yeah, I'm playing this on the Switch. I'm playing Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We gotta aim at that thing. It just doesn't output video. Yeah, that's kind of a big uh, flaw. <laughs> it just, it still works. It just doesn't like show me the game when I'm playing it. <laughs> Some of this motion control stuff was gimmicky as fuck. I was like, what's the point of that, right? I can't believe the Game Awards tweeted about Sly Cooper. That's so mean to do. Like, haven't Sly Cooper fans been through enough with Sly 4? You're gonna tease a possible Sly 5 that will never come, and even if it does, it's not gonna be made by Sucker Punch? Why would you do that? Epic! Freaking epic! Gotta take do bomb. <laughs> Luigi pulled a John Wick exit. Why do I feel like I remember every level of this game? <clears throat> because this is a cut above the rest, my dude. This is one of the best games ever made. <laughs> Gotta take a break from the hat. I just don't like... On your feet. 
Wait, 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 wait. So there was a level. I'm pretty sure it was this one. The one with Luigi. The one where you have to find Luigi and save him. Top Maniac and the Top Man Tribe. Let's try this one and try to get Luigi. I think that this is the one where you get Luigi. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one. He's on the bottom over here. A true journey about finding yourself. The real One Piece was the friends we made along the way. The real January 6th storm was the one, the friends we made along the way. Order January 6th. All we had to do was follow the damn train. Please. Thank you for the follow, Katie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for that. We are three away from our next goal from another crab rave dance, y'all. Every follower helps so much. Oh my gosh, Rob, he's put us he's put us two inches closer. Thank you for the follow, Rob. You're a goaded guy who probably loves the classic games because you're a real gamer. If I had to guess. I'm desperate for a crab rave. Tell your friends about Poppin' Loch Ness. Go follow Poppin' Loch Ness. He's got all the streams. Yeah, I'll let you know, Zuhair, for sure. I don't know if you're still in here, but... When we do Ocarina of Time, it's going to be a one, all-in-one-go setting. Oh my god, Ian put us, he's putting us one inch closer. Oh! It sounds so weird on my end. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. Thanks for growing the channel with me. I really appreciate all that you do. So much fun to have you here, because... There's nothing I love better than playing Mario Galaxy, but I'll be honest with you, and I, I give you guys a lot of shit, but I love playing with an, a lively and active chat. It's so much fun. It's like playing with friends on a couch, but like lots of friends with lots of different experiences and things to say, so thank you. That's my favorite part about streaming, to be honest, is the sharing experiences, sharing love for games, talking about ones you grew up on and the memories associated with them, and Love to have you here. Thanks again. Such a chatty viewer. Yeah, I love that Reaper. Seriously. I love the chatty views. But I also, I'm cool with the lurks too. If you want to just chill, throw your, yourself some coffee and a bagel and vibe out, I'm cool with that too. Whatever you feel like doing. But obviously, I'm going to be more engaged when you guys are engaging with me. Thank you for that. TikTok, streaming on TikTok's really been awesome. Um, I was able to get so many more viewers than I normally ever would because of it. There's Luigi, someone help me! All right, so here's what we gotta do. You gotta bait the bullet bill, see? And then you gotta make sure he doesn't hit the cage with the, with the extra life, and then you gotta hit the Luigi. And then look at that, fucking multiverse Luigi. Thanks for the share. Reaper, appreciate you. God, the audio overlay. Yeah, I need to figure out how to fucking fix that, whatever it is. Oh, why it doubles up on the sound. Fucking crazy, though. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Why is Mario wearing green and taller? He just decided he was an El Bozo right now. My daughter and I are playing this for the first time. Aw, oh, you're, you're a good mom for that, Katie. Every kid should not start their gaming life with Fortnite. Even though I like, you know, I actually like Fortnite now. But, uh, it should be a Mario game, in my opinion. Mario, Donkey Kong, Zelda. All these classics, that should be your foray, your first go into the space. You 
You know, n none of my parents, either of my parents, I was just, I say none because I technically have four, but none of them were into um, video games. It was my cousins who were into games, and I looked up to them, and I and I used to watch them play and like draw the characters. That's what got me into gaming. I used to watch them play Mega Man, and I was obsessed. I, was, I used to watch them play Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo, and I was obsessed with like the art design of Mega Man and just the whole concept of them. And I eventually worked up the courage to play it on my own. First game I ever played was Crash Team Racing with my old man. See, that's a great game to start with, too. Crash Team Racing was so much fun. It's great for puzzle solving skills. I agree. Yeah, especially the Zelda games, those really hone your puzzles, your problem solving skills. They're like not too strenuous, but they're not too easy either. Like it's great. And the feeling that it gives you of figuring it out is unparalleled. I tried to get Sarah into Zelda. I got her on um, Link Between Worlds. I thought that was a good starter one. And she really liked the um, puzzle and everything aspect of it. She just she hated the combat and she hated the boss battles. Because she's just she doesn't play games, so she just got frustrated really easily. But she loved the puzzles and everything about it. Wait, wait, is there something? Oh. Yeah, dude, Twilight Princess is a great game. You should definitely eat like there's a lot of old school jank about Ocarina of Time, but I still think it holds up and I still think that people should play it and view it through the lens of it coming out in like 1998 or whenever it did because there's still so much to like about that game. I obviously have a lot of rose colored goggles when talking about Ocarina of Time, but I, I do believe that it's, it's just an amazing game. Also, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was the very first Zelda game I beat without any help, so that will always hold a place in my heart. Majora's Mask is a great game to play after you've got some experience with Zelda games. It is, like, probably the worst Zelda game to start with, but there's so much to love with that game. That game used to stress me out, though, with the... With the three-day cycle, but once you learn you can like slow down time with the song of like double time and everything, it's so much better. Wait, should I try to... Oh, I thought I would go up there. Okay. I love <clears throat> this stuff. I love the gravity switching. This is what made Mario Galaxy Mario Galaxy, baby. Get away from me! I got stuck on this part in Phantom Hourglass for no joke six years. Dude, have you seen the videos about like people who pick up like used copies of Ocarina of Time and how many of them just are like just completely stuck at the water temple like people just gave up <laughs> which is weird because like there's the internet you know like you can just look up how to do it which i know a lot of people aren't a fan of fuck i fucked that one up while i was talking the fucking dungeon and the giant fish and ocarina of time is soul cancer are you saying ocarina of time yeah you, oh you mean you're talking about the initial water temple when you're a kid I mean, it's not that bad. I can see where you're coming from. Ooh, just skip the whole thing. Fuck it, right? That's what I thought. Um, Jabu Jabu. It's definitely one of the weakest parts of Ocarina of Time, but it's really not that bad. The water temple when you're an adult is way more annoying because the whole map is one big square and it's so easy to get turned around and go, wait, wait, where's that room I, I know that I need to go to? Like, even the, when you know what room you have to go to, you get confused. That's what's so annoying about it. The raising and lowering the water levels. I mean, they even kind of did that in Twilight Princess, but goddamn, the water temple in Twilight Princess is so much better than the Ocarina of Time one. Jabu Jabu's belly, yeah. 
Because you have to carry the princess around and everything. Princess Rito or whatever. I can't remember. I think it is Princess Rito. Well, squares and circles, anything to just kind of discombobulate your sense of direction. Yeah, I, I do. I do hate that. And, and, like, even the most loving of fans of Ocarina of Time will admit that the Water Temple is like a blemish on that game. Also, I don't like going down into the well as a kid to start the Shadow Temple to get the Lens of Truth. Um, that's also something I'm not a huge fan of in uh, Ocarina of Time. But other than that, it's a great book. The music is what makes Ocarina of Time the best. That opening song of the title screen in Ocarina of Time is... Oh, I get teary-eyed just thinking about it. I agree, Christian. We do need some sort of, like, Twilight Princess Ocarina of Time sequel. I wouldn't even mind a Majora's Mask type, like, game mechanic sequel. That was great. I mean, like, let's be honest. The Ocarina of Time was, had more time travel properties in Majora's Mask than it did in Ocarina of Time. Don't you guys find that kind of weird? Like, the Master Sword is what teleports you combined with the Ocarina of Time. Technically, the Master Sword should be called Legend of Zelda the Master Sword of Time. So now we can technically beat the story of the game, I believe. Um, fuck it. So let's beat the story and then we'll keep collecting stars, I think. I don't even know if there's a reason to play Breath of the Wild now that Tears of the Kingdom is out. I mean, I guess there is. It's still a fun game. It's still amazing. It's still changed shit forever, but Tears of the Kingdom is just so much more fun now. Shrines in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom make me want to rip my hair out. Dude, the shrines are my favorite part of those both of those games. <laughs> They're mini dungeons. They're like... We have the four beasts or whatever, and those are technically our dungeons, but the shrines are just like puzzles you would see in a typical Zelda dungeon, but just many scattered all over the world, and it's so fun to find them. Not all of them, but most of them. Go, Luigi. Yeah, the stable carries over, yeah, if you have. But I, that's the problem is I played Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. I didn't get the Switch until Mario Odyssey came out. That's what got me to get the Switch. I'm not a puzzle guy, so I agree. I don't like shrines much. Yeah, it's all a matter of what you enjoy in games. And like, I, the puzzle aspect is honestly my favorite part of Zelda. The combat's pretty good too, but for me, it's all about the puzzles. That's what I've always loved about uh, Zelda the most. My dad is currently playing our copy of Tears of the Kingdom. W Dad. He's got the right idea, dude. Oh, I want to play it so bad. Maybe we'll play a little bit after this. Because I just didn't want to... Like, I have viewers who, like, came in when I was playing it. And they were like, hey, just wanted to say hey. But I, I don't want to stick around because I don't want to get spoiled. And I understand that. But, oh, I want to play it so bad. It's all I want to play right now. We don't need an extra life. Fuck that shit. We had to do was follow the damn train, Ooh. CJ. Thank you for the follow, Sean. Or your mom. <laughs> oh my goodness! A lot of viewers know why I'm laughing at that in particular, but I won't get into it. <laughs> okay, I'll tell the story. I got banned on TikTok for a week because I had a mentally deranged viewer coming in and like. 
I think he was a sly speedrunner because he was just like flexing nuts the whole time and like talking shit. And he was like, my trophies speak for themselves, like any cool person would, right? So any person who wouldn't get a la laughed out of the room immediately in any other setting other than, you know, a chat. Anyway, he, uh, he was like, what are you playing this on? And where, where are you? Like, wanted to know where I was. And I was like, I'm playing this on an emulator from your mom's room. And he got mad and he reported me from several different accounts and I got banned on TikTok for a week all because of a year mom joke. A simple, ineffectual, dumb, that's why I use it because I figured most people know your mom jokes are just stupid, juvenile, um, but he did not. He took it very seriously. He won't mention his name. Like Voldemort, mentioning the troll's name gives them power. Alright, we gotta move before these things disappear. Apparently, I was taking my sweet time. I don't need that extra life. I already earned my own extra life. You gotta earn it! I love Mario Galaxy. Well, you're a top guy, Ernie. That's why. Only the top people enjoy Mario Galaxy. If you don't, I don't want to know you. Fire sticks, a staple of the Mario franchise. Can't have a Mario without fire sticks. Not even a mean your mom joke, but a little bitch, yeah, he was. But we knew that from the get-go, so I should have anticipated him being deranged as well. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I went anyway, because I don't give a fuck. Okay. Okay. All right, fire sticks. I see you. No checkpoints, right? I don't think so. This reminds me of certain levels from um, Mario Sunshine. Dude, sometimes when the camera um, change, like the controls change with whatever angle you're at in different orbits, and sometimes you get locked in to accidentally just like running in a circle with this game. I've never played Mario Galaxy. Oh man, you should do yourself a favor and go get yourself a copy. It's so fun. It's such a light-hearted, relaxing experience compared to other 3D Mario games. Like, there's there's a little bit of challenge, sure, but it's not like, not like, god damn it. <laughs> See, that's, that's the karma I get for saying it's not that bad, and then I just die immediately. Oh, uh, that's funny. It's okay. See, the checkpoint is very forgiving. This is not, this is not a... Uh, Sphinx and the Curse of the Mummy. Asshole. This is Galaxy 1. I know, I hope that they would release Galaxy 2 on the Switch already. What are you doing? What are you doing? Release it already. Howdy. What up, Mace Face? Well, I mean, if you're bragging about your trophies on Sly Cooper, yeah, I don't, I can't imagine he's a, a young, young blood. Probably will have loved all the original. Nice, nice, nice. What's up, little lady? How do you play as Luigi? You um get all 120 stars as Mario. Yes, thank you for answering, Sabrina. Shit, I missed my jump. Oh, 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 twice now. Twice this has happened to me. Goddamn bullet bills. Oh, man, he killed me again. Galaxy 2 was my shit back then. Nice, nice, nice. I just need to not fall into the lava. Dude, we have 36 lives? What the fuck? Nobody needs that many lives. <laughs> oh, you just get a free one-up right there. Yeah, this game is definitely not the hardest Mario. Oh, they disappear over time. Go figure. 
Gonna be back to Zelda. You're gonna go back to Zelda. I'll be back. Nice, nice, nice. Appreciate you. We might, we might switch over to Zelda here. <laughs> I want to play it so bad. I love that game so much. Dude, I, I'm having a hard time with this now. I'm just going to run through the fire sticks, I guess. I forget these things actually disappear over time. That's where I'm fucking up. Play Zelda, bro. Enjoy your gaming time. You're played enough for us. Well, I'm also enjoying this, but yeah, thank you. There you go. There you do. Move! See, I... That was another case where the analog stick just wasn't catching up the, the different camera angle. Even though there wasn't a different... Okay, let's try to get a coin out of this son of a bitch. Try to go in with full health. Play Zelda every day. Hey, 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 hey. Play Zelda every day. God damn it. I don't remember the bullet bills being this much of a problem. It's a skill issue. Yeah, and then the traction fucked me over on that one. Just slid right into the lava. Oh my god, it's a big bullet bill. That's bullet butch. Yeah, this stuff would get um, Sarah dizzy. She's like, I'm not about this. She likes Mario Odyssey, though. That's like one of the few games that she beat all on her own. No! Oh, thank you for the follow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for the follow, Best Blood. Appreciate you coming over here on Twitch and hanging out with us. Actually, it's Bullet William. <laughs> you fucking nerd. Hey, thanks for the follow, Omar. I think this final boss with Bowser is actually somewhat challenging. Get one of them. I don't need an extra life though. I'm coming for you, Bowser. Bowser changes size in every game. Do you guys notice this? He's fucking huge in Mario Sunshine. Goddamn Jack Black. Bullet Billion. Thank you for the follow, Bloody Cord. I'm gonna head out. Have a good day. Twitch chat, TikTok chat, and old pop. Thank you. And lady. Oh, thank you, Swag. I hope you have a good day, too. Thanks for hanging out, as always. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. Thank you for the follow, Jake. I, I need to figure out... Okay, I'm fucking blurry as shit. I also need to figure out how to not double up on the goddamn music alert. <laughs> it's always something. I'm such an El Bozo, guys. He's also a giant in Odyssey. Yeah, he's pretty big in that, too. So, Luigi, as you can see, oh, I got big plans. I'm stomping you out at the top of my DJ. list. Oh, my God. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for the follow. We're two away from 50 just in this stream alone, y'all. Thank you so much. Doing big things here. Alright, I gotta remember how to fight this El Bozo. Come and get me, Rockman. See, this is the best. This is the best way to fight Bowser in Mario Galaxy. Is just on a little planet, and you're use you're both using El Bozo orbit Dragon. to your advantage. Oh, I thought I hit him for sure. El Bozo Dragon. Oh my god, I'm messing up the timing big time. All right, let's make sure we get some coins so we don't lose our super mushroom. 
Got him. I just got lucky on the timing on that one, to be honest. All right. I think he has three phases. Got him. Give me the bits. Oh, I thought I was going to get him so good there. Got him. All right. This way. More. All right. Last phase, I believe. Oh, we have to get him to jump on these things and boil his butt up. Yeah, with Luigi, you can just jump right over those rings if you time it right with a good Z jump. Come and get me, you idiot. Oh, he doesn't run in a s normal circle anymore. Kind of runs with a little slant. That's what makes it harder this time. Harder to predict. Come on, El Bozo. Go to the end of the planet and then... Oh, shit! Then I was going to say do a, a huge Z jump. It should be good. I'm sorry about the music doubling up. I'm going to have to find out how to fix that. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. We are building the channel hard today on a Tuesday. Not typical, not typical. Usually the weekday streams are a little slower, but you guys are proving that wrong today, so I appreciate All we that. Had to do was follow the damn train. Yeah, totally DJ. missed All the timing. To Times two. The oh. Oh my god, all these follows. Thank you, Tiff. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, user 6511405. I appreciate y'all. Got a save state. <laughs> no. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. All we had to do. We jumped over all the lasers. One well timed Z jump. Was follow the damn train, CJ. All we had to do was follow the There we go. Alright, now we gotta get him on the slant. <gasps> Alright, this might be it. One more. L Bowser. Boom. Get fucking sucker punched by Luigi, bro. Let's go. Mr. First Try. <laughs> Your cat has pants. <laughs> All we had to do was We got more followers, ladies. We got more followers. Lady Crab Rave. Did it. I'll let you do this. I have to do a little bit forward. Jump button. Oh no. Do, 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 do. Turn up for what? Thank you for all the follows, guys. Thanks for the support of the channel. I really appreciate you, and so does Lady. All support of the channel actually goes to Lady. Not just the green screen, not just the mic, not just the safari hat, not just the Lady Cam, which should be up and running tomorrow, hopefully. It goes to Lady too, the absolute gamer. You beat Mario Galaxy. Yes, you did. She smells extra good because she just got a bath. Literally just got done doing the same level with Luigi. Nice, nice. What up, my dude?
Yeah, we're not done though. We gotta we gotta get more we gotta get more stars before we move on. Oh no! My plans have been thwarted by Mario Brother yet again. What will I do? Is it tyranny? Yay, lady did it. <laughs> Bowser Bowser only knows how to feel bad for himself. Dude, do you think Mario knows that Luigi's totally rizzing out Peach right now? For a game with not much story, how is Mario Galaxy able to get as much emotion out of you that it, as it does? It's kind of crazy. This scene always made me cry, every time. That's what I'm saying, like, there's not really even much going on, but they're still able to get that emotion out of you. Door is not wrong. It's largely in the music. That's usually what how the emotion is drawn out of you. So is it known by the community? Do you guys know that the lore behind Rosalina is that she's supposed to be like the future daughter of Peach and Mario? I'm pretty sure. Or was that just like a Matt Pat game theory that was not backed by Nintendo or something. Mommy? Sorry, Mommy? Sorry. I love how you had it in the sorry at the end. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star. So the cycle of life continues. Thank you for the follow. And Jork mad and droka mad the cycle never repeats itself quite the same way the damn train, CJ. thank you for the follow Gian so you'll see All we had to do was this ending is kind of similar to Klonoa <laughs> like just in feeling not necessarily in what actually happens Anybody play Klonoa? The game's actually pretty good. Thank you for the follows. Oh my gosh. Hey Marie, Carter, Cool and K. Hey yo, what up, Elmo? What up, y'all? It's the cute music, yeah. You're not wrong. This game's beautiful, bruh. I'll shut up so you can enjoy that beauty. so good I love Rosalina oh look everybody from the different galaxies came to party in Mushroom Kingdom Thank you for the follow, Nando. Oh my god, 69. That's the true victory. 69 followers, Nando. How does it feel to be the 69th follower? Fucking goaded, bro. Oh, doubled up on the music. I don't know how to fix it. We'll fix Oh my, look at all these follows, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Mart. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Pwn Rancho. Thank you, Super Galaxy. I appreciate Clan, Clanish Tony. 
Oh my god, what the fuck's going on? Thanks for all the follows, guys. Wow. Appreciate you guys doing that. I'm gonna fix the, the sound alert for the next time. A beautiful game. Fuck yes. Yes, we are not done with the game, but we beat the mainline story with Luigi, and that was a lot of fun. I mean, this game is triple, <laughs> triple the fucking crab rave, seriously. Double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, El Tacrero, Mart. You playing on the Switch? Yeah, I'm playing the Super Mario 3D All-Stars um, version. How long did it take you to pass it all? You can do this in one sitting. It's not that long. You get 60 stars and just beat the main story. You could probably do that in just a few hours. You can do it in one sitting. This is my favorite Mario. Well, that's because you got W Taste Nando. This is one of my favorites as well. What up, Andrea? Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the chat. To all the new followers, you earn points in this uh, stream by spending time in chat. You earn. Uh, two points for every minute you spend in here. Oh my god, we reached the next follow goal. I eat, I cat toes. I eat toes? I, I can't tell if it's cat or eat. I think it's I eat toes. <laughs> Thank you for being the 80th follower, I eat toes, with the butter stotch profile pic. I appreciate you. I know, they need to add Mario Galaxy 2. It's, it's, it's getting out of hand here. Um, I don't know. I'll let chat decide. What do you guys want? Do you want some more Mario Galaxy or do you want me to switch over to Zelda? Because I'm I'm probably going to switch over to Zelda at some point eventually. Why is Luigi not in the photos? Because the game's not designed around Luigi. It's designed around Mario. And I think just changing the end credits just for the sake of putting Luigi in is just assets. That it, they, I think I'd rather get the game sooner than them be like, we got to redo the credits for when you beat the game with Luigi. You remind me of David Dobrik. That's the first time I've ever heard that. That's crazy, Amber. Thank you. <laughs> and a followed. Thank you, non applicable, for following. More Galaxy, Ernie says. Mario Galaxy. Yes, Mario. The whole world is streaming Zelda. Do Mario. <laughs> Steph goes Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. All right. I think that enough people have spoken. We're going to play Mario for a bit longer. So, how long Zelda, we Zelda, Zelda. Let's find that out real fast. We've been streaming for two and a half hours. Okay, so we'll definitely play Mario Galaxy for at least another hour, and then we'll maybe finish it off with some Zelda. Sound good? Play Mario for another hour or so. Let's go. Yeah, I want to fix that alert so it's not doubled up on the music. It's always something, it seems, with these goddamn widgets, but I'll fix it. I'll make sure. I might do some testing at 3 o'clock in the morning on Tic Tac. The only way I can test it is if I actually go live. I mean, there's always next stream for Zelda too. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll be playing Zelda on Saturday. I have, at my channel, guys, I have a thing called Zelda Saturday. We only play Zelda games on Saturday. Hope to see you there. We're not gonna just be playing Tears of the Kingdom. We're gonna be playing Ocarina of Time. We're gonna be playing Link to the Past. I need to play Link's Awakening on the Switch still. I've only played the Game Boy version. Uh, we need to play Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight P, maybe a little Skyward Sword. I'm feeling Randy. We're going to be playing all that. Bro, cooking today. Hell yeah, baby. Man, I did not expect the chat to be as popping as it is, but fucking Mario, man. Do I have a 3DS? I do. I have it in the other room, actually. That's why I was trying to get Sarah to play on for Link Between Worlds. <laughs> and she liked it. But, uh, she couldn't deal with the bat- with the combat. Wanna see my 3DS? Thank you for playing my game. That's what you get! You get Luigi saying, thank you for playing my game! And you get a new chapter. Purple Comet. The purple Comets are where you have to collect the purple coins, and those are, like, arguably the hardest stars to earn in this game. All the older games are getting traction again. Yeah, because the older games are... I mean, like, I'm not going to be someone to shit on modern games because I still think there are a lot of really good modern games. But, um... No. Oh, I got mixed up. <clears throat> 
but these older classics will always, always be held in high esteem because they're just objectively good games. Look down at your feet. I think you have bunions, bro. I wish it was 69. Just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. I mean, Luigi's got all the character, so... Oh, another Luigi star, I'm sure. Old, just gold in these modern games. Well, when you have people like Blizzard Activision constantly lowering the bar... Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a faraway place, but I'm right. Rescue. <clears throat> huh? It addressed it to Mario. Don't be upset, Luigi. Hang in there. <laughs> That's my friend code on 3DS. Uh, probably some 15 oh, yeah. digits something or other that I, I'll never memorize. 21 up mushrooms? No, I don't need that shit. I'm not an elbow, so I have like 36 lives. You don't need extra lives in this game. What are you what are you doing? What are you even doing? Oh wait, I can go feed that Luma that we haven't fed yet. That's why Nintendo can get away with like being on like old ass hardware and having the most jank jag ass way to do online with their fucking friend codes is because they get away with it because they make good games. At the end of the day, they still make really, really fucking good games that can compete with like goddamn Elden Ring. The Toad Treasure Tracker is long ingrained in my head. Feed them babies. Happy to have y'all here. We got a whole bunch of new people here today. Appreciate you. Hope to see you around for all the different games we'll be playing. Tomorrow we'll be playing Dragon Ball Kakarot for Weeb Wednesday. Thursday, um, I haven't decided what we'll be playing on Thursday yet. Friday, we'll be back with Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Saturday is Tears of the Kingdom. Sunday is Sly Cooper 2. We're starting a new run on that. That'll be my third time playing Total. All for the first time this year, too. Thank you for the follow, Lizzie. I appreciate that. Mario brings out my extroverted side. Am I going to play KOTOR again? Ooh, maybe that's what we'll play Thursday. Yeah, I need to continue with KOTOR. I was playing all sorts of different Star Wars games, um, getting ready for Jedi Survivor, and uh, I played KOTOR one day. And I... As jank and as much as that game doesn't hold up in a lot of ways, it's still really fun. It's still a really good game. So uh, I definitely want to keep playing it. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do some uh, KOTOR on Thursday. Maybe that's the move. Or Battlefront 2, the original 2005 Battlefront 2, not not EA's Battlefront 2. I was also enjoying my time with that one. Revisiting. Oh my god, how am I so off? That they promised. Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, even if it comes out, it might suck. Yeah, no worries, Systematic. Appreciate you being here anyway. Yeah, and guys, if you want, um, all the links are in my link tree in the description, but I've been streaming for a while. Active uh, chat for a while now. Um, all the VODs, I have a YouTube specifically for my VODs. You can go check out some of the old streams there. Interstellar Riz. Oof. There we go. Rizzed out on Interstellar Riz, that's right. Dude, the aiming in this is weird. I'm just trying to see how they go about it. Yeah, same. Like, what game do I recommend on the 3DS? Fuck, man, there's so many of them. Uh, Metroid 2 Remake is a great one. Um, Pokemon Black and White uh, 1 and 2 are some of my favorite Pokemon games because of the Battle Tower alone. Mm, Luigi's Mansion 2. Dark Moon, I think it's called. There's a lot of good games on the 3DS. 3DS was great, great handheld. Dude, I missed it again. Aiming in this is weird. Hope they do it justice. Yeah, I don't fucking know about that, man. All right, we need to 
we need to focus up here and make sure we get the aiming right because I keep missing that specific one. Goddamn geometry. You know, I was always bad at trig and geometry. Cosine tangent, baby! Alright, try to line this up a little bit more to the right. Okay, that worked. Oh! <gasps> After all that, I missed it! <laughs> I would have gift battled Meg if I could battle you, Adam, but we can only use trash Pokemon. Ah, oh, Myth, you don't have to gift. I appreciate you being here and constantly chatting and being supportive. That's that's what I care about. You guys would not believe me if I told you how many channel points Miga's acquired through all of her gifting. Dude, I missed it again. What the fuck is up with this shit? You can grab the star dog. You're a bot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gavlift. Yeah, I'm a big time bot. I am a... Well, technically, wouldn't being a bot at a video game be a good thing? Like, you can actually, like... Calculate a lot better Like I don't know that seems it seems to me that the people who legitimately and uh, Unironically use bot as an insult tend to be the most fucking NPC El bozos like unironically <laughs> You know what I'm saying But uh, yeah cope I don't give a shit. I'm not here to flex nuts. I'm here to just vibe out you're the one who cares about being good at video games because you got nothing else going on. Ooh, got him. Fucking got him. We got personal with it. Ooh. You're a bot. This is pre recorded. <laughs> How do you not even know? How do you not even know that? Always happy to be here. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Oh, I missed. Missed it. Blink twice if you're a bot. Bot it out. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've noticed. People who, like, legitimately use bot as an insult tend to be the most NPC of all people. Bro, you probably get laughed out of every room that you leave. Just saying. Just saying. Alright. Made it. All right, fire sticks should have gone there. There we go. Make sure I get this aim right. Keeps turning to the left a little bit. All right, we got it. Botted, totally botted. Could a bot do that? Probably. Confirm for bot. <laughs> goofball. Gonna do time again, Pops. I don't give a shit. Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Absolute bot buns, little boy. <laughs> you gotta add bot in there, too. Yeah, yeah, absolute bot buns. <laughs> You're a fucking bot, bro! You're a bot! Don't you have a Sneeko video to watch, or like, an Andrew Tate video to fucking jerk off to? <laughs> fucking goofball. Oh my god, you get zero pussy, I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Oh 
Oh no, that was bad. <laughs> Going to TikTok jail. Battle Rock Galaxy. Gotta get. Oh, we missed one here. <laughs> Your kid even provides social commentary. That was when that guy got mad at me for saying I don't think teachers should um, carry guns. He's like, "What the fuck do you know?" Um, you can send points, <clears throat> and actually, Steph, you can earn um, points quickly by sharing. You could spam the share button and just send it to yourself, and that'll earn you some extra points with the Riz. Um, hit exclamation point score, I believe, um, to find out how many... Um, how many points you have? Exclamation point score or exclamation point points. I think it's one or the other. <clears throat> See, there you go. It showed up on the stream right there, right above the follower bar right there. That shows how many points that you have. So you have 22 points, Steph. You mu you've been using a lot of text to speech. That's why. I'll lower the cost of text to speech after the stream. I'll try to make it mm, easier to do. See, there you go. Exclamation point score shows your rank shows how many points you have see Josue has a lot of points because he's been in here for a long time So you Josue can actually send points by typing Exclamation point send the value of the points you want to send and then the username like the at username of who you want to send it to So you can send Steph um, points if you want <clears throat> Yeah, you just got here, K-Marie. Send me points. <laughs> Y'all want to use that text-to-speech real bad. Yeah, a quick way, as I just said, to earn the points real fast is to share, and you do not actually have to share. You can just, like, text the link to yourself, and it'll still count as a share. And you can earn quick points doing that. Because doing that boosts the algorithm of the stream. So that's my way of incentivizing you to boost my algorithm. There you go, guys. Exclamation point score. Thank God I have two extra accounts. <laughs> I mean, again, you don't even have to. You can just send it to yourself. Oh, I haven't... Ooh, toy time. Let's go to toy time. Let's find the El Bozo who called me a bot and ban him because the last time I just muted a guy who was deranged and an idiot... They reported me. Where was that El Bozo? Sorry. Let's see. Oh, he's a gym bro, and he took a mirror selfie as his profile picture. Yeah, dude. I should be more like you. What am I doing? Valorant clips. Road to commercial. Bay Area pilot. Oh my god, this this fucking guy. Get blocked, bozo. I'll watch somebody else. There we go. Much better. Oh, it already feels better knowing that he can't be in here. What an El Bozo. Everybody's sharing and checking out their score. It's all gang up on the bot accusing. No, no, do not dox anybody. Nobody's in deserve. Nobody deserves that. Seriously, don't don't do that shit. Like I don't like the guy, but fuck it, just block him and move on with our lives, right? Fifty-two points, not bad. You just earned that all today, system systematic. You should be proud. <laughs> you've been you've been chatting a lot. That's why. Chatting and sharing. Where's my little... Where's my little reticle? You wanna talk, baby? Notice that thingamajig? It's called a springamajig. Wow. 
God damn it, guys. I wish I was a bot for this. Dude, bots would be good at games, I would imagine. Like, bots are really good at playing chess. Imagine at, like, chess tournaments calling somebody a bot is, like, a compliment. Like, dude, you're so botted. Like, you are such a bot. It's like, oh, thank you. I'm pretty good, I guess. The timing. The jump. Not working for me. There we go. There we go. Why is it... Timing is fucking with me right now. See, a bot would be able to figure this out a lot sooner than I am. Usually it's just about the timing of hitting the A button when you land, but it wasn't really working for me there. Um, there has to be spaces in between, Josue. You don't, don't do send and then 500. Like, all is one text. You see what I'm saying? Dude, what the fuck? I never have problems with this. Why is this fucking with me right now? Right, let's try to practice before we hit the tarmac. Right. Oh, do I have to be doing forward momentum? Is that why? Timing just fucking with me. I was always able to just do the super jump every single time I land, but I'm having some problems with it now. One of the greatest games of all time. I will completely agree with that sentiment. Okay, I'm hitting it early. And I'll hit it late. Oh, the late kind of worked. Okay, so I guess hitting it kind of late is the trick. Maybe that's why I was fucking up. Hitting it too early. Yes! Alright, we got through it. I've never had so many problems with the spring jump, the spring of a jig. Just the input lag is just a little bit different on this one. Lemon curd! There we go. Alright, I think I'm starting to get the timing down. Get in there! Alright, much better. Much better than before, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys are just trying to send points to each other. <laughs> Let's go. Does my score carry over to the other lives? No, no, just here. Just for this stream. But it carries over to future streams, so you keep the points that you earn here. Um, not everybody's using the same um, third-party app as I am. So, 
Um, yeah, it's only you earn points from being in my stream. It's it's a way to incentivize you to um, hang out here and share my shit. Cause it's all what about game me. And console are you playing on? I'm playing on Switch. I'm playing the Mario 3D All Stars version. This level's pretty sweet. Oh shit, there was a red mushroom right there. I, oh well. And this level's long. Just give me an extra life or something. Looks like Wii. I mean, this game originally came out on the Wii and not much was changed in the 3D All-Stars version, so yeah, it's a Wii game technically, but I'm playing the 3D All-Stars version on the Switch. Which apparently you can't even get digitally anymore? That's fucked up. Why would Nintendo do that? Like forced scarcity. For no reason. The original game came out in 2007, but yeah, the 3D All-Stars, I think, came out like two, three years ago, about. Ah! The Bowser bots. It's the bots, you guys. <laughs> Goddamn bots. Called me bot as an insult. How do you feel about that, Robot Bowsers? It ain't right. You motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! Oh, Sarita. I had to blow out the candle with the Oh, we gotta blow out the candles. God damn, I'm such a bot. It's Peach it's Peach's uh birthday cake from Mario 64 and, and Super Mario Party. Nintendo's anti-consumer. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they left like all the people who supported them during the Wii U in the lurch. Uh, that was that didn't sit well with me. I'm like, yo, you're gonna punish the people who fucking supported you during your hard times. That that's kind of strange. But they're they're kind of known for having weird choices like that. Why a lot of things is is the. Nintendo Creed. Like, why this? Why this? How do I can get up there, please? Thank you. Holy moly, when I left your stream, you had 10 new followers. Now you're at 83. Cool. Oh, I know. People were following hard today. We, we got a lot of new people here today. So let's go. He's my best Thanks for the follow, Andrew. Ape Andrew. Ape Andrew. My good time boy. My good time boy. Don't touch him yet. Get up there. Boom. He was about to do his electricity move again, too. Excuse me. Ooh. What up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. We play nothing but the classics here. We don't play them well, but we have a lot of fun all the while. Oh my god, dude. The heart. This is this is worse than the Rock Tower. Spotted. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's good. Your buns, G. <laughs> that's funny. What up, Jimin? About to have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest enemy in the game. Grabbing the star in the spring of a jig. What up, Jim? And I said hi to you. Yeah, what's up? He said hi, and then he said hi. I'm saying hi. Also known as Maria Baby Mochi. How you doing? How you doing today? Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday to y'all. We're only a couple away from our 90 follower goal here. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, we we got almost 100 followers from this stream alone. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate you being here. What happens when you get all the stars with Luigi? I don't know. They they give you a hand, a virtual handshake. Thank you for the follow, Mako. Carolyn Kaut Katowski. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I don't know what you're saying thank you to, but thank you for being here. I tried to stay as engaged with my chat as possible, y'all. It's kind of tough because I'm semi-literate and a bot and an elbozo. All we had to do was follow the damn All sorts of uh, negative things. Thanks for the follow, Steph. This must be a different Steph. Ah, Big Daddy Steph. Thank you for the follow. Hope y'all are having a good day. Hope you're feeling well. Hope you're feeling loved. Hope you're feeling appreciated and celebrated. Because you... You're special. Me, when I find out I'm so smart, I'm getting special education. Oh, now this is epic. Damn it. Oh, this is a fucking... This is a Zelda boss. They just totally ripped off the Twilight Princess Zelda boss. This game's a total rip-off. I have to hit him in the face or something. I don't even remember fighting this guy. And I've played this game like a million bajillion times. I think there's a crack under his jaw that we have to hit. Goaded music. Missed him. Oh, no. Still hurt him. I guess you don't have to hit him right in the head. This one gave me so much anxiety. Any underwater level, especially ones where you have to monitor how much air you have, are all anxiety inducing. Of course, Sonic is the biggest prime example of that. Whoever, whoever designed the music for that, oh man. He did a good job creating lots and lots of anxiety for gamers. Alright, where is this? Oh, he's right above me. They give him the Bowser theme music, though. This guy's an elbozo. He's a fucking bot. Did any of my kitty pals make it on stream today? No, no. I think they've been sleeping mostly today. Tell me how I am supposed to breathe with no air. Um, just grow gills, you dingus. Just eat some gillyweed. Oh god, I'm not even a Harry Potter fan, and I just said that. Ew, ew. I can't believe I said that. I'm sorry, y'all. The gillyweed! The gillyweed! Just eat the gillyweed! God, he's, he's pretty good at dodging me now. Alright, is this like Bowser where I want to go to the other side of the planet and meet him head on? Where is this bastard at? No mini map, no nothing. Oh, there he is. Get fucked, mate. Oh 
guess I didn't hit him. <laughs> the bot malfunctioned. Op is uncultured, big time. I am what they call a Philistine. No appreciation for art or culture. None. Adam's 52, so he's not gonna understand millennial references. That's my fiance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> when I was like, roast me yesterday, she pops in with the personal shit. <laughs> and I was like, I mean like roast me about being bad at the game, like call me a bot and shit. But she's like, um, let me just drop this little tidbit here and just move on. <laughs> Uh, very true. My mistake. Exactly. I'm 52. You gotta give me. You gotta give me some credit here. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow, King Superman. Lady looks like she got up to go eat or get some you water do not or look something. 52. You look 23. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's that's very nice to say. Holy shit, 23. All we had to do was I wish. Damn train, CJ. I was very dumb though at 23. Like I'm pretty dumb. You guys think I'm dumb now? Woo, when I was 23, god damn. God damn was I dumb. We got another follower goal reach. Thank you so much, everybody. We got 90 followers in one fucking stream. That is big. That is big time. Thanks, you guys. That is all because of you. I appreciate that more than I could ever express into words. Seriously, thank you so much. It was just a joke. It, it, okay, so the 52 thing, I'll just be I'll be serious for approximately 1 minute, but then I'm going back to just telling nothing but lies. The 52 thing was a joke because people were trying to guess my age, and I think the lowest I got was something around 22, and the highest I got was 52, so I just went with the highest. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, I'm 52. That makes sense. So, that's the only time you'll hear me say it. From now on, I am 52. Uh, if anybody asks, I'm 52. Seems like that hooligan is, is finally going to straighten up and swim right. Wait, wait, wait. What star do I have to get in this one? Oh, do I gotta race the, the penguins? Can't beat me. How do I start the race? Down for a race? Yes. Race. I'm not much of a swimmer, so I'll just watch from here if that's okay. Where do I start the race? Is it with this guy? Yep. Has to be. <laughs> he puts the lotion on this guy. You gotta moisturize. Moisturize. Which is funny, because I actually don't moisturize. Sarah's always on me. She's like, you should moisturize. I'm like, says you! I love the race music in this game. I love all the music in this game. I beat all of the races on my first try in Jack and Jack 2. I think I can handle this. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. There's a video I need to show you guys this video uh, when I was way back when this was I a couple years God, ago Mike back when I was only me. 49 for me it was accidental I am so sorry <laughs> it's okay <laughs> Steph relax <laughs> um, way back in the day back when I was about 49. Um, and Sarah and I were kind of just starting to date. Uh, I made her play Mario Galaxy, and we were doing that um, Stingray race. 
And it was actually hilarious. I have a video that I cut from it. I'll have to show it to you guys sometime. It was really funny. We got the gold medal. It's Lovelace. That's Lovelace. Gotta ban Steph preemptively. <laughs> Genuine tip, check the job description. Check the jobs in the menu. We don't have to watch you walk to the safe house in the middle of a mission. <laughs> uh, Gua Sha. I'm trying to get him to Gua Sha. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm like, she's like washing her face tonight. I'm like, are you Gua Shamana? Like, you should go Shamana. I cry if you get banned. Gold Leaf. I guess we still gotta do Sea Slide. Oh, is... Th you think that the mystery one here is the one where you do the lava on the Mario, right? No? Maybe, maybe not. Do we have to question. I think we have do to you feed. Or do you not feel bonita. <laughs> I do feel bonita. Wonderful. I feel bonita. All right, so there's a there's a secret star on this one. Got to find out. We got to feed some sort of Luma somewhere, I think. Does anybody know? Does anybody know off the top of their head? <laughs> Wonderful, because you look bonita. Aww. That was very nice to say. Y'all are beauty- Y'all are the real beauties. You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking, samurai. The FBI wants to pay me to learn how to surf. What does a surfer even sound like? Oh god. Oh yeah, I gotta pay this fool. Probably what? 60 is my guess? I have 40, so he's probably like 60 or 70. Let's see. 50. Oh man, we're close. Okay, only a couple more. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Luma man. This El Bozo will give me some bits. Nope, he gives me a coin. There's some bits. Only need a couple. Do you have a crumb of bits for me? Right. Only need a couple more. Can they fall from the sky somewhere for me? I can't move the camera. Fix camera. I respect. Game knows what it wants. Oh, I heard some bits falling. These El Bozos keep giving me coins. Usually they give you bits. Wait, I heard them. I heard them fall from the sky. So close. Can you hear that? I don't want to get all these. Oh, 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 oh. All we had to do was follow the damn train. Thank you for the follow, Sura. My favorite Thai food restaurant, Sura. Come on, where are these bits? Can I like see any from off in the distance and grab them? Dude, I am three away. <laughs> this is a joke. Oh. I feel like I heard a couple falling. Do they keep falling from the sky? We're on the flood. Do you guys notice this? We're on flood from Mario <laughs> Sunshine. I got it. Dude, I think that we fucked this up. I think we might have to restart. I didn't get enough. I, I'm three away from having enough. How fucked up is that? 
I don't think any more are gonna drop. Oh, total bot move, guys. Sorry. I'm gonna have to restart this and make sure I collect all the bits I can even more. Maybe this guy. Can I kill him? I have to spin on the bad guys? Well, I can't kill those. I don't think I can kill the uh, robot with a spin move, so. Might just be El Bozo fucked on that one. Oh, are there bits here? Camera. Grab any off in the distance? Nope. Alright, we might have to just restart this level. Ooh, lame. Oh, let's try it again. What happened, Sabrina? You typed something and then it like put you on restriction or something? I wish that it would operated like Twitch where I could just click your username and see all the things that you said. But nah. TikTok. That would be too that would be too good of a feature. Thank you for the follow, Taylor. Oh my god, guys, we're six away from a hundred followers in one stream. That's crazy. Those are like those are like Sly Cooper numbers. Maybe I should play more Mario games. I tried to say I'd report you with stuff so she wouldn't be alone. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow, Vincent. Putting us on the road to a hundred. Thank you for that. Gray, gray name, gray user. Got a lot there. Got a lot there. I already had 50. <laughs> I got, see, I should have just done that from the get-go. Holy shit. Okay. Well, at least we can go to the secret star. Right away. Oh, fucking around. Oh my god, what a bot move. Give me a bunch of star bits. I'll burst with happiness and transform. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Simba Wallace, thank you for the follow. Putting us on the road. Four more. Only four more, y'all. We'll have a hundred followers. Ninety-seven. Thank you, Tyler Bmar. Thank you. Holy shit, a moly. Eighty-eight. That was a great year. I will. I will. I mean, I should know. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow, Ayana. Ayana was about to be the 100th follower. She was so close. She's putting us on the road there, which is way harder. So thank you for that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, can I? Oh, I thought that it, okay. I thought I'd have to like change the gravity somewhere. Oh my God, a hundred followers, y'all. A hundred followers from streaming on a Tuesday, playing fucking Mario Galaxy. Thank you so, 104, bam, dude. We got, we, look at this. Vincent, Logan, Casey Daking, Amir, Lexi, Pokey Rage, Salty Dog. Look at you guys, all you beautiful people following me for the stream. Thank you so much. Thank oh my god, dude. We got all we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ, on a fucking loop because of you guys. Thank you. I love hearing it. Thank you so much. Follows really help a lot with the channel. I know they seem like they don't, and they don't really matter in terms of like the algorithm, but they matter in terms of monetization of the channel. Um, you can only start to monetize once you get to 10,000 uh, followers, and I am at 8,000 currently, so we're, we're very close. Uh, hoping to keep growing the channel, 
hope to we're definitely gonna keep streaming having a great time positive vibes chill vibes if, if you like old school games make sure you come and hang out because we mostly play the only the classics here so happy to have you can't tell you how much fun it is to play some of my favorite games with an active and lively chat seriously I should have gone right there I didn't know they hopped in place We're almost, we almost got them all. Where are we missing? Where are we missing? Did someone subscribe? Is that what I hear? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's just a, <laughs> I forget what sound I have for a subscription. I think it's the Giga Chad music. That was the Spider-Man 3 dance music, which I think that you can just play on my Twitch. For a second, I was like, did someone subscribe? Subscribe, you know? Yeah, regardless, thank you. Thank you for everything, guys. Seriously, you make me blush here. I'm an El Bozo, but I'm your El Bozo today. Oh, there was a blue that I missed right up there. Classic whitehead sitting right up top. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is, on the bottom. Being a bottom bitch, there we go. Thank you for the follow, Quade. Quaddy. Not Quade, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Quaddy. Like working out your quads? Here, right? Kinda hear it. Take a look on the camera. Wish I could turn the camera. Oh well. Oh, these are all turned off. There it is. Hey now. This level's a little bit of a nightmare, but it was it's still good. Wow, I, I usually, I get the opposite of these kinds of con comments. The fact that you did that so effortlessly makes me question how it took me so long to do this. I, that's usually the opposite of the comments I get. They're like, bro turned a five minute mission into a 20 minute venture. <laughs> and then I was watching um, a content creator who I like playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. And no offense to this content creator, and I'm not gonna say uh, his, her, they name, uh, <laughs> they name but it made me feel a lot better about my skills <laughs> i think that a lot of <laughs> the grief that i get is just out of fun and, and pure love because i i can't be that bad i was watching i'm like eh, i'm not that bad <laughs> um i mean that's how you just got to approach it though right is effortlessly and, and indifferent because you're just there to have fun you're not there to be some sweaty fucking try hard this is a uh, mario galaxy it was originally came out on the two in 2007 on the wii and i'm playing the 3d all-stars version which came out on the switch i believe in 2021. all we had to do was follow the damn train cj Hey, Alyssa, it doesn't have to be the worst night of your life. Seriously, just look at everybody goes through this. I've gone through that, you know, many times in my life. It seems bad in the moment, um, but this is a moment actually that is an opportunity to grow and learn and work on yourself. Um, you don't need anybody else to validate. Oh my God, we got more followers. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> that was interrupted. That was interrupting first. Thank you for the follow, Valhalla. Thank you for the follow, Nintendo. But seriously, Alyssa, don't. I, I understand that it hurts right now, but just know that that feeling is not going to last forever, and this is your opportunity to learn and grow from it. That's all it is, because like, as I say many times on this stream, life is a series of L's and taking L's, and it's all a matter of how you take the L's, um, because they're inevitable. And... 
life yeah life can be a son of a bitch son of some uh, a son of a bitch some at a time but it's also really good and you just you live for the good moments and you try to grow from the bad so that's all i really have to say and i'm sorry you're feeling bad but just know it's not going to feel last that way forever and yeah if anything you should just look at it as an opportunity for growth and change which is always good you should always be learning to grow and change every single day Everyone thinks that there's a limit that you have where you're like, all right, I've, I've grown enough. I've changed enough. Like, I'm good. No, no. It's an everyday thing until the day you die. And learning that, and I struggle with that too. Um, everybody struggles with that. But it gets better, I promise. Um, not everything is forever. Good feelings and bad. Not everything is forever. Like, I was feeling shitty this morning. Um, I was having kind of an, a rough morning, to be honest. But look at this. This stream turned out to be fucking total, total W stream, guys. Seriously, though, like, it's all an ebb and flow. You can do it! Ooh. I'm not trying to discount how you're feeling with any sort of toxic positivity. I'm just hoping that you can see things from a different perspective, because it's definitely not the end of the world, and... I have faith that you'll be doing just fine. SMG2? What's that? What up, Meeg? Meeg the goat is back! What does SMG mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm reading this whole shit out. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. Oh, holy shit, 110 follows from a Tuesday stream of Mario Galaxy. God damn, we might have to make Mario games a staple in the week. Super Mario Galaxy abbreviated. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Have I played Super Mario Galaxy 2? Yes, I... I completed that game twice in my life, but it's been years, and I have it on the Wii I have it on the Wii. I'm lending my friend the Wii U <laughs> so he can play Wind Waker for the first time. He's never played Wind Waker, so once I get it back from him, I'll be playing Mario Galaxy 2 on stream. Um, but as it is now, because goddamn fucker Nintendo won't port it over to the Switch, I gotta play- I gotta play it on my Wii U. I mean, that's the other thing. They they released it digitally on the on the goddamn Wii U. So why wouldn't they do it on the Switch? Hip -hop. Look you well, bozo. Thank you for this Cooper skates gift, Megan. You like that text to speech alert? <laughs> that way I won't miss any big big gifts. Any gift that's worth over 300 points, which is $3, guys, cuz one one coin is one cent on TikTok world. Any gift that's over 300, I will get that El Bozo text-to-speech alert like Meeg just gave to me. So just know that moving forward, but um, I appreciate that, Meeg. Thank you. You're such an ardent supporter of the stream, and I really do appreciate it. I, the only reason I have this green screen is because of you. And I got the lady cam in the works. It should be up and running here pretty soon. I just have to mess with it. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, Sabrina, Sabrina's fucking goat, dude. She's such a good person. I don't say that about many people, but she just seems like a really, really good person. That's very nice of you to say to Alyssa, Sabrina. Thank you. <laughs> Nintendo too worried about their 1990s games. Seriously, though. Do I drink coffee? Yep, I actually finished a pot all to myself right here in this French press. I drink it black and... People gave me a lot of shit for that <laughs> last time I told them how I take my coffee. Sorry, Lady can't- I have a dog. <laughs> I have a 10-year-old Maltese named Lady that everyone loves to see. Eventually, I'm gonna be having two cameras, one on me and one on Lady, because everybody always wants to know how Lady's doing. She usually just right next to me sleeping in her dog bed. I have a wiener dog! Oh, Hey! Speaking of which, did you guys hear about the cowboy who bought a miniature dachshund he wanted to get a long little doggy 
Danielle, the dad, needed to be here for that one. That is right up her alley, dude. Lady Cam came out of context does warrant confusion. <laughs> yeah, Lady Cam, what the fuck? Yeah, sorry. I, sometimes I forget that I'm not talking directly to my community who's been here for a long time. We got a lot of new people in here today. Thank you so much for being here. You don't have to do text-to-speech boo, Josue. There's a boo this man button on Twitch that you're very active on. <laughs> like, just use that. It's free. <laughs> All right, give me my gift back. What? Ladies are mascot. Wait, why do I have to? I don't, what are you talking about? My dog's name is Oscar. I love that name for a dog. He's a little wiener dog. The Oscar Meyer wiener dog. <laughs> gift, re gift redacted. <laughs> and is adorable true and megan's got a, a every a lot of my chatters have really cute dogs every dog that i've seen of theirs is cute see there you go then you just go on twitch and do the boo this man oh nova black did it i thought that was gonna be a sway <laughs> nova black the goat of twitch ladies and gentlemen nova black you guys said you're gonna go hang out with them you did when i was banned on tiktok but look at you now Empty promises. Empty, empty promises. Sorry, Nova. Just know that you hold a very special place in my heart. Goated, goated chatter on Twitch, everybody. Nova Black! Nova Black! One of the goats. My brother's gonna buy me Mar. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a, that's a W brother right there. <laughs> that's a w bro. Actually. Actually, um, actually, that is a goaded brother right Hopefully there. A brother who will so get you Mario, who buys place. you Mario. That is a W brother. <laughs> I have the glasses now, the lensless glasses, so I can actually put those on for the um, actually, you're a huge bot. Megan did. Yeah, Megan said that she'd keep you company because she's he's goaded. The hat. No, no, no. We're only we're only using the hat on Sly Sunday. That's a very special, special thing. Okay, I'm not wearing the safari hat every stream. I have this Luigi hat, but the goddamn thing blends in with the stupid green screen. So now I'm just L man. That's it. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Hi, my sweet Nova Black. <laughs> See, she's here. Yeah, guys, there's free sound bites on Twitch. Um, so even if you're not wanting to watch on Twitch, there's plenty of reasons to be over there. Free sound bites. You don't have to use channel points or anything. I was part of the affiliate program for approximately one week, and I said, fuck that, because my viewers got spammed with um, ads. And you have to exclusively, you can only exclusively stream on Twitch when you're part of the affiliate program. So I opted out and I'm much happier as a result. Oh, Lady's back. Wanna say hi, Lady? This is Lady, the Lady Cam. This is Lady. Giant L on your forehead. Yeah, big. That that was perfect, right? L King, L Nerd, L Bozo. What'd you do? Go get lady, yourself some lunch. You. Get yourself some turkey lunch, turkey lurkey. Lady is my best friend. I am her daddy, and my fiance is her mommy. And she got a quite a good life. She's a rescue. She's around 10, maybe even 11 years old. Uh, the vets thought that she was three when I got her. And I've had her for almost seven years now. And she went from having a not so good life to the best life. Hmm? You go on walks every day. Get, she gets so spoiled. She only accepts bone in ribeye. She doesn't even eat dog treats anymore. And she's got the fanciest little dog bed that she sacks out in next to me every single day. She's my best friend. They're in the dog bed. 
Show us the cats, too. You want me to go get the cats? I'll try. <laughs> They're a bit unruly, innit? All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ! No, the blurry camera. There we go. Okay. She's not very happy about this. She doesn't like being picked up. But this is Waffles. Waffles. Say hi. I wanted to say hi to you. Maple's sleeping right now. You big girl. Say hey, hi, Waffles. So she's so mad at me right now. She hates this. Hey, hi, Kitty. Okay, okay. I gotta go wash my hands because I'm actually allergic to cats. Sorry. Be right back. Sorry, right, Kitty. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. We love a pet break. Okay. Well, yeah. When the the lady camera is here, um, I'll have it at an angle. And usually Waffles comes in here, and she likes to prowl. Maple, not so much. Maple's nocturnal. She's more nocturnal. Um, so she sleeps a lot during the day, a lot more. Big, Big gift pop. Oh my God. Thank you for the galaxy, Megan. Holy shit. I got a subscriber while I was away? I did? Oh my goodness. Well, whoever subscribed, please type in the chat so I can see your new badge and welcome you and say thank you so much for subscribing. Look, this is for Lady and Waffles and, and for Maple too. I couldn't grab her. She's sleeping. She's sleeping and do you cats ever do this where she has her paw? Covering her face. <laughs> Damn it, this thing goes this thing goes out of focus too often. Only way I know how to fix it is to deactivate it and then activate it. I don't know, man. Next time. Yeah, yeah, not for Maple. <laughs> Maple's sweetheart though. Oh, good night, Nova Black. I just saw that you were leaving. Oh my gosh, I hope that I caught you, but thanks so much for hanging out with us as always. <clears throat> I'm doing skincare routine with Lady. <laughs> Thank you, Nova Black. Hope you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us as, as per usual. Love having you here. You're, you're W guy. I'm not gonna use the spring. The spring has been fucking with me lately. Cool though, they give you the option. Can you spring forward on the... Oh, 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 no, this is even better. Hey, at least they gave him the Luigi hat for the for the boo. Oh, it's gonna be close! <laughs> I can't believe I avoided that. You must be able to walk on quicksand with the spring, because how else do you get through that?
Oh, I love this music. Mario 64 music. The game is so goddamn good. Missed it. Come on, camera. Don't fuck me over. This camera's gonna fuck me over. You can <laughs> I fucked it. myself over. I am going backwards big time. Okay, okay, okay. Another day, another BB game. So I do want to go with the current. Uh, okay. I thought for sure I'd want to go against the current, but... Uh. Makes sense, you can see more. <laughs> I fucked myself over with the double jump. If I didn't double jump, I would have been fine. Do I need points or something for the text-to-speech? Yes, and you need to follow as well. If you're not following, it won't work. Um, you earn, while you're following, points by being in the chat. And you earn even more points by sharing. Um, and you don't have to share it with anybody. You can just share it with yourself, even if you want. Um, that boosts the algorithm. Not I learned nothing. I learned nothing from my last death. Add a big time L, double L. Put on my El Bozo hat for that one. El Bozo. Okay. Let's try not to fuck this up again. There we go. Don't mess it up. <laughs> L Bozo Nerd plus Ratio. You suck, bot. You're a bot. I think the hardest time I have with this game is getting the purple coins when you have to grab the stars with the motion control. Um, I am engaged. I am not married. I got engaged um, a little while ago. With the love of my life. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we still haven't gone to the top. I I didn't even unlock the last world before taking on Bowser, I just realized. She's sometimes in this chat. Yeah, you just gotta look at it as his loss, Alyssa. I know it's hard to get there immediately after, but that's just the attitude you eventually have to adopt. Because, yeah, you just got to stand and feel your worth, and you're worth something. Just because he doesn't think so, doesn't, it's not a judgment or referendum on you. Truly, it is not. Feels that way in the moment, but it's not. You're Feelings are liars sometimes. Right now, I'm live streaming the wedding. Oh my god, she would kill me. No, no, we're not live streaming the wedding. We got to keep some things for ourselves, but I'll show you guys pictures and shit. We're um, getting married at a natural history museum, so there will be all sorts of like dinosaur exhibits. There's a giant like way, uh, manatee and uh, shark that'll be right above the reception area. It's way cool. There's an allosaurus that we're going to put like the, you know, the people's names and tables at. It's awesome. I'm so excited. 
getting married at the Natural History Museum. I got married in an aerospace museum. Fuck yeah. No, I think it's it's way cool. We're very excited about it. We just we just got the venue too. Wait, what's going on here? Are we at least invited then? You're invited in spirit, but budget wise, physically no. <laughs> too many. It's already too many people. Weddings are expensive, y'all. Hey, where the fuck is this thing? And what is this thing? I don't remember this at all. How many points for the uh, text-to-speech? Let me double check. I can change it, but um, let's see. Text-to-speech. Okay, so it costs 20 for text-to-speech. I will change that right now to 10. You can earn... You won't have you can earn us. points. We will stop for frosties Shit. and burgers on the way. <laughs> Sarah's a vegetarian, so we will not be getting burgers. No, no, no. <sighs> points. Let's see. Okay, so it costs ten. I changed it to ten. How do I go to find out? how you earn the points, though. Shit is so fucking annoying. Well, pay the price of admission. It's also a capacity thing. Like, that you can you only allow so many people in. But thank you. It's nice that you guys want, want to be on it. It's been to attack when you're close enough. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. We could always see. just crash the wedding. Yeah, you could, but I'm not telling you You'll where it's at. You just happened to be at that museum that day. You don't know which which natural history museum it is, though. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, here we go. I changed it to ten, ten points uh, you to spend for text to speech. To accept for holidays at your wedding. Okay, you guys are going crazy with it now. You earn ten points just by sharing the live. So all you have to do is share once and you'll have enough points for text to speech and you get one point for every minute you're in the chat. So there you go. Also made it to Twitch. I know I see that sy systematic vibes gaming. Fuck yeah. You don't need those aunt and uncles you never talk to except for holidays or weddings. <laughs> but that's the thing. Isn't that funny that those always take priority over people that you like maybe even see every single day? Life is weird like that. Nah, we still love all of our family. We're in good, we're in good standing with all of our family, luckily. Sometimes that's not the case. Alright, where's that invisible bastard? There he is. Take that, El Bozo. Wait, isn't this where I get the super fly mechanic or something? Where I can fly? And only in the hub world? We're all very happy for you and Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Kaysen. Thank you, Megan. That's very nice to say. We're very happy, too. God Rosalina damn, 116 is followers in one... S this, these are Sly Cooper numbers, guys. We might have to change... Tuesday to like Mario Tuesdays or something. Mario Monday, maybe? Mario Monday, keeping with the alliterations? I mean, Zelda Saturday is a stretch, but... <laughs> Sly Sunday, Mario Monday, Zelda Saturday, um, Weeb Wednesday, <laughs> Funsies Friday, which is a game that I usually take as, as a suggestion from the community. We will We're going to be playing and Sphinx and the Locked Cursed Mummy. Best from afar. Aw, that's very nice. We're not getting married until next year, though, so don't even worry about it. You're not missing anything this year. Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? Oh, I have to grab... Uh, do I get a star for this, or is this just for, for shits, schnitz and giggle? You stream at night? 
Um, typically no, but I can. Um, I might start making it like a once a month or twice a month thing where I stream at night. But um, yeah, generally, fuck. Of course I picked the worst angle ever. Go this way, that way I can control Mario a bit better. Why don't we see this outfit more? The the black Purple outfit point, flying of. Mario and Luigi is so sweet. Do I get anything for this, or is this just to kind of teach me how to fly around the hub world? Can I mean, I'll do it anyway. It's fun. I'll reception. slob you knob. Can we come to the reception? I wish. He's so funny, like introducing everybody. I'm like, I'm actually meeting for the first time too. They're part of they're my viewers. <laughs> they're my support system. They're total W's. Absolute W. This is Sabrina. She's a Big W. Pop. Look you well, Bozo. Oh god, the text to speech is going wild now, huh? I've created a monster, cause nobody wants to see Adam anymore. They want pop and lock. I'm chopped liver. It's for the observatory and a red star. We're ladies plus ones. <laughs> Lady, you got a lot of plus ones. Jesus Poppy Christ. Whoppy Pop and Locks. <laughs> the text to speech going crazy now. I'm not I'm okay with it out, honestly. It saves me from having to look at chat as much, because so many times you guys were yelling at me to be a text. It's Poppy Walks Pop and Lock <laughs> Well, there you go. And mods just, I mean, this goes without saying, but if anybody does any text to speech of like, you know, really awful shit, just, just permanently mute them and let me know who it is so I can ban them. Um, but yeah, no, none of the shenanigans with that. Just have fun with it though. All we had to do was follow the damn train, DJ. Text to speech, really Brittany. Does that include stinky feet text? Oh no, see, I knew this was gonna be a thing. I was like, Sarah gets home. I'm wearing flip-flops, of course, in the kitchen. And I'm like, you know that's gonna be a thing now, right? Now that you've uncovered Pandora's box on that one, that's gonna be a, a staple of mine. Thank you. <laughs> They're not stinky. Stinky feet would be covering them up all day. See what I'm saying? I, got, I let these puppers breathe. Jankless for pops. You guys are fucking ridiculous. Yes, I do have text-to-speech, but you have to be a follower in order to use it. You can earn points by hanging out in the chat, also by sharing the live, which you don't Box have to actually your share Crocs with anybody. For your wedding gift. I'm not wearing Crocs. I don't like Crocs. I'm not wearing them. She said that too, Sarah. She's like, I'll get you Crocs. And I'm like, I'm not wearing Crocs. I don't like them. All we had to do was follow the damn train. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Danielle. Thank you for the follow, Toph. Or the share, Toph. Are you going to do Mario Galaxy after you finish this one? Stinky Feet, the pilot of the Rizzler 69, aka Cheeks Mago. Mago. <laughs> Cheeks Mago. <laughs> um. Yes, I'll be playing Mario Galaxy 2, but as I said earlier, Sarah my friend is borrowing my Wii U to play Wind Waker, so I have to wait to get it back in order to play it, because goddamn Nintendo hasn't released it on the Switch yet. And the fan is out in my original Wii, so... I have it digitally on my Wii U, so yeah. I think I'm going to start making Mario games as part of my weekly um, playthroughs, considering how well this one did. And so yeah, you'll see all the Mario games. And yes, definitely Mario Galaxy 2. I'm excited to play that one, but as soon as I get my Wii U back from my friend playing Wind Waker. Where's this last coin? I seriously just had it like right here. I see it. I swear to God, it was just like right there. Pops is gonna mute us all? No, I like it, to be honest. And again, it saves me from, you know, I'm bad at reading chat sometimes, as you guys are one to yell at me about. 
Oh, Nova can't sleep. Taco Bell. Can't use uh, text to speech on Twitch. I can try to get that to happen, but I think the text to speech on Twitch requires me to be an affiliate. Um, you do matter, Nova Black, and I'm sorry to make you feel that way. If you if you honestly do feel that way, I'll I'll look into it. Okay, I literally just added the text to speech like two days ago. I'm just trying every day to make it better with the time that I have. Okay. I will try my best to make text-to-speech viable on, on Twitch, but the way I, I think it's happening, Twitch makes it so all the cool shit that you can use is only exclusive, Danny DeVito is only if you're mustache. exclusive on Twitch, unfortunately. Danny DeVito shaved his mustache. Oh, I'm glad that you are feeling cheered up, Alyssa. You deserve it. Everybody deserves happiness, you know? This feeling ain't gonna last forever. You're gonna be doing just fine, I promise. Welcome to Matt from Wii Sports. Yeah, the Taco Bell bell is what you hear when you share. So every time you share, I hear it. No, I like the text-to-speech, to be honest. It's like the first time ever that I didn't double up on sound. Holy shit. Thank you, Chris. I have chronic back pain. That Christian Christian Romero for being the 120th follower. That is huge, guys. 120 follows in one stream on a Tuesday. That's big. I got to make Mario part of the staple. It's too much fun. Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. I mean, we're getting lots of follows follows once people realize they can do text-to-speech <laughs> if they follow <laughs> thank you for the gift Megan see this is perfect unspoken Riz on God on God for real Megan with the galaxy gift big bongo gift thank you so much Megan look at this we're gonna get so much many followers just from the people are gonna follow say something fucked up in text-to-speech and then get banned <laughs> that's gonna start happening so eventually I'm gonna have to raise the point system raise how many how much it costs to use text-to-speech but for now we <laughs> right now it's okay we'll just keep going with it this is funny my nose smells bad. <laughs> now that is a perfect use of text to speech. <laughs> My nose smells bad. <laughs> Keen. Oh, Nick Stranger, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? All righty then. That's funny. Man, look at all these worlds. Sick dude! We need another celebration! 69 stars? Fuck yeah, dude! 69? Are you kidding me? Come on now. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ! Thank you for the, f what am I, why am I not seeing this? Thank you for the follow, Emily, I appreciate it. Mods have a gavel. Ooh. Yeah, keep an eye on that Nick. I think he was trying to text to speech peen. So funny, bro. 69 stars, guys. Rizzler 69, we all know I am the captain of the Rizzler 69, the ship from Kingdom Hearts. Hey, another gift. See, I'm never going to miss these big gifts anymore, Megan. I got the El Bozo alert up. Big gift pop, you El Bozo. That's what the text-to-speech reads. Stars, funny number. 69, bro. Now we have to get 420 stars or 420 coins or bits. We have to give away all of our bits. So we have 420 bits. So we'll have 69 stars and 420 bits. Let's go. Yeah, I got here probably a month and a half ago. Don't usually watch streams, but Pop was playing Sly and the crowd is good. Thank you, Nova Black. You are fucking, you are the goat. 
for hanging out and chilling. That, that's like, that's one of the nicest compliments you can get is somebody being like, I don't watch streams, but like, I'll watch you. This is, this is fun. So thank you, El Bozo. <laughs> yeah, I am an El Bozo. I'm always taking the L's. 420 views, 69 star. I want to know the origin of that drawing of that chicken in your profile picture. That's a. Uh, I'm gonna have to change it eventually. That's Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and it's an episode called Jet Chicken, which is one of my favorite episodes of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. If Fio's in here, he'll know. He comes in here, quoting Aqua Teen all the time, and I know it's Aqua Teen because I'm a fucking deranged fan of theirs, and he knows all of it. And he's like, "Oh my god, Jet Chicken! I love that episode." <laughs> Day one of 69,420 days of watching. Hell yeah, I wish. I wish. Can you imagine? 69,000 days. 69,420 days. What? A Somebody do the calculations. How old are you when you've reached 69,000 days? 69,420 days. That has got. That's got to be a celebrated day for you in your life. <laughs> We're celebrating his 69-420, bro. This is his 69-420. He's fun to watch. Aw, that's nice of you to say, Sabrina. Yeah, and um, I take suggestions from my longtime recurring viewers. I'm playing Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, which was suggested by Sabrina, and I can see why. It's a really good game. It's really fucking hard. 1,672 years. About 16 years. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I am obviously really good at math, too. You're good to me, Megan. Aw. Pop is seriously chill and definitely likely to return, whether it's on TikTok or Twitch. I'm vibing. Fuck yeah, dude. That's... You guys are just filled with just nice comments today. I'm not used to it. Holy shit. Nova Black is the goat. You ain't wrong. He still shows. He doesn't give a fuck if nobody else is on Twitch. He goes there and he vibes out and he sees what's going on on TikTok. But he's got enough willpower and restraint to not go on TikTok because he said I would lose all my time. And I get it because we love you. I pops. spend I spend way too much time on, on TikTok. Thank you for saying that. Thanks, Brandeezy, dude. You're. You're one of the goats too. You've been here. You've been one of the OGs. I appreciate you, dog. Thanks for being here. As always, Brandeezy. He never misses. I got yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm really loving this community that we're building here. Y'all are y'all are pretty fucking funny and fun. Fun, funny, chill are my kind of people, so thank you for being here. Hey, we got more people on Twitch. Aprendella86 joining the Twitch. Sorry you have to wait 10 minutes. I have that in place to block out, you know, trolls from just coming in, saying one thing and fucking off for the rest of their lives. So after 10 minutes, you can start chatting on Twitch. I'm sorry, but there's a reason that that is in place, as you can imagine. I, I don't know if you have enough points anymore. Oh, off. Are you an Avatar fan? Is that what that's for? Um, because I see you trying to do TTS, but it's not working. But it only costs 10 points, so it's cheaper than it ever will be today and now. So, enjoy. It's about 16 years. <laughs> yeah, so when you're 6... Dude, what a... That's like the perfect age. That celebrate your 69420s at age 16. Okay, so I have a point system in place. Um, you can find out how the points work by typing in exclamation point commands. Um, but I have points that you can earn from being a follower, firstly, from spending time in the chat. Actually, I was wrong. It's 190.2 years. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. I was like, I don't think that anybody's ever gonna survive to see their 69 420. <laughs> um Well maybe their 69th year and 420 days in, which technically would make you 70. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> a man can dream, a man can dream. So sorry, I was saying you can earn points by being in the chat. You can earn um the points that you need, 10 
to do text to speech by simply sharing the live. You just click share and send the link via TikTok or via text or whatever it is. You'll earn the points needed for text to speech and you just need to follow. And then you just do exclamation point TTS, whatever you want to write, and it'll pop up in the chat. So that's how it's done. Sorry, I'm got a million bajillion things going on. I gotta focus. Can confirm. Yeah, and then you check your score by pressing exclamation point score, and it'll pop up where? Right there. Yeah, see? Right there. Eight points. So if you share it again, you'll get 18 points. Eight points means you've been in the chat for about eight minutes. There you go. You can check on your points by doing that. I'll try to, I mean, you just have to press exclamation point commands to see what you, you have to do, what you can do. But I'll try to post it somewhere, maybe in the Discord or something. Oh, hi. You want to say hi? You're holding maple. You don't want to say hi? We got a special guest, ladies and gents. And NBs. Oh, you want to give her to me? Maple. Hi, Maple and person holding Maple. Maple, no. Say hi real fast. She is not having it. Ah, don't, don't slash her name. He's not enjoying it. See, that's why we don't fuck with Maple like that. She's she's alpha around here. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, she's Sarah. actually a really Hi, sweet cat, but she just doesn't Sarah. like to be held. Thanks for the cameo. She really doesn't like we to be held. <laughs> Maple said, nah. <laughs> thanks for the cameo. They said, thanks for the cameo, Sarah. Systematic wants you to play Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Finish I will make this promise to you. We will return to Kingdom Hearts as soon as I'm done with Kakarot, okay? That's next on Weeb Wednesday docket, all right? I'll play Kingdom Hearts. You can watch me get frustrated as hell. It'll be a great time for y'all. You should try Kingdom Hearts. You'll love it, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, so if you guys want to check it out, I have two VODs. I tried to play... Kingdom Hearts for the very first time on stream a couple weeks ago. My it's in my VOD like channel. Smell. Two separate uh, sessions, so a total of around eight or nine hours. And I lost my goddamn mind trying to play that game. I hated it so much. So if you want to check that out and as to why I didn't like it, I think I have pretty valid reasons for not liking it. But you know how Kingdom Hearts fans are. They love that game and the nostalgia associated with playing it for the first Kingdom time. Kingdom Hearts is a baby game. Plus, I'm not really big into RPGs and I'm not a Disney adult. So I'm just not the target audience for that game. Best RPG ever made that I will play anytime, anywhere is Chrono Trigger. And I've also heard Persona 5 is amazing and I want to play that. So maybe we'll play Persona 5 on stream now. at some point during Weeb Wednesdays. But yeah, as soon as I beat Kakarot, which wow. should be soon, we're playing it tomorrow, um, I will pick up Kingdom Hearts again, just for y'all. I promise. You do this for me, you lend me your support, I gotta show love back somehow. Persona 5 You're is a goated. Disney adult now. Persona 5 is goaded. Yeah, that's, that's all I've heard. Even from people I know who don't even like RPGs, they're like, that game's so good. So I'm like, okay, I got to try it. I get the fuck up this. I got to break. I got to break something. Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, I guess. Persona 5 is only good cause y'all like staring at Anne. Persona has a lot of mechanics to learn, but once you learn it, it's fun. God damn it, the camera controls changed on me. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've just heard nothing but good things, so I, I'd be definitely willing to try it. I'm open to, like, 
mostly all types of games. There's no game that I'm ever like, no, I don't like those types of games. RPGs aren't my favorite, but that's not to say I don't enjoy some of them. I mean, I did grow up on Pokemon. That's kind of an RPG. I mean, it's an RPG. Turn-based RPG, but very simple baby-like one. PlayStation Especially Xbox recently. 69. Xbox 69. When's Xbox 69 coming out? Thank you for the follow, Wendy. You're out of here, Sabrina? Alright, Sabrina. Thanks for hanging out. Sabrina is one of the goats here. He holds a very high place of regard here for me. He's way cool. My god, I have 11 points. Did you share the live? You should get 10 points automatically for sharing the live. But you see, it's supposed to incentivize you to hang out here. The more you hang out here, the more you share, the more you get. If you gift, you get five times the amount of points. If you're a subscriber, you get a hundred percent increase to your point um, earned. Your points earned. That's why um, all my subscribers have just like a shit ton of points. I don't even know what to say. Just have fun with it. Just think of something that would make you laugh and say it. You can say anything, just don't say slurs or, you know. You can even roast me. I'm okay with. It's totally okay to roast me here. In fact, I encourage it. Bye, Sabrina. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Bye, Sabrina. Lol boy. Again, you can you can abuse the share button to earn yourself some quick points. One share will get you a text to speech. There you go. Every time I hear that Taco Bell, the Taco Bell bong, I know that y'all are sharing. I'm back, total. Oh no, Bentley, how could you? Little boy, <laughs> Bex. I see, I see what you're doing there. Can I climb on this? Fuck, I just missed the taxi. It's not showing my points because you're probably not following. You have to be following in order to earn points in the first place. That's right. Blame a skill issue on it not working. If it's not the game glitching, it's usually the chat that's the problem, and it's never my skill. Okay, it's never my fault. Uh, I'm the nicest guy I know. Everybody wants to be my friend. Okay, nothing is ever. I never do anything wrong. Okay. I'm the best gamer alive. I first try everything. All right. That's just facts. And you're just you're just you're just triggered by the facts. You just don't like facts. <laughs> You've always have you ever heard that argument? I fucking love that argument. You just hate hearing the truth. All right. Where do we got to go? Da, 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 da. Skyrim was mine. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh! Don't get hit by the laser, Luigi. I don't have any skill issues. Don't, don't embarrass me in front of chat. <laughs> ah ha 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 ha. I still need to play the Fallout games. Uh, everyone says Fallout New Vegas is like one of the best games ever, and I still haven't played it. I'm a Bethesda fan too. I, I like Skyrim, I like Morrowind, I like uh, Oblivion, but I've never played any of the Fallouts. I've heard nothing but good things. Oh, 
Fallout with the mods is so fun. If yeah, so I have a filter in place that prevents what you're trying to do, Toph. Skyrim That's why. Takes a damn long to finish. If you just try to spam letters, it'll just filter it out, and I think the points still get spent. So try not to do that anymore. Otherwise, you're just wasting points. But um, I would I'd be actually mad if I heard H A H A H A H A as much as you try to type it in. So just uh. Just uh, relax on that. Find something funny to say instead of trying to make the, the bot sound weird, you know? Add a splatter. Beautiful cat, though. What breed might I ask? Long hair indoor, I think they're just called? I don't know. Domestic long hair indoor. Domestic long hair. Sin City was made for me, smiley face. But I'm not funny. You don't have to be funny, just be you. That's all that matters. Whenever someone tries to be funny, it rarely ever comes out funny. Just be you, and we'll love you for whatever you choose, you know? You don't have to be a funny guy. As long as it makes you laugh, though, that's a good, that's a good test. You know what I mean? As long as it makes you laugh. That's all that really matters. The lid, the lid, the lid. You gotta do the Andy Kaufman approach of, he was literally being funny to entertain himself. You gotta have that approach. The, not just comedy, but I think life. You know, what is your value? What is your point system? What's your value system? Don't live for other people and what they think you should be doing. The streams and live for what you like, FR. what you enjoy. Shrimp fried this rice. I have no comedic humor. That's okay, neither do I. Think I let it stop me from being an El Bozo? Well, sometimes, but... It's no big deal. I'll tell you one thing, though. Being funny, first of all, is very difficult. You have to have some wit, you have to have some intellect, of which I have very little. But I'll tell you one thing, whenever you hear somebody, like in the classroom, or in, in like a comment section, or in a chat, go, you're not funny. I, there's no... <laughs> there's nothing less funny than a person who tries to get an own Hello, that way. Boogly. Just saying. People go like, um, you're not funny. Those people are like, <laughs> terminally never going to be funny and they know it. So they cope by trying to get an own and sounding cool and saying, you're not funny. So just know that. Anytime you feel embarrassed by somebody saying that, just know that they're the least funny person in the room and they know it too. Luigi is kind of bad W Riz face. Oh, yeah, Luigi's got all the riz. He's got all the unspoken riz. Mario gets all the kudos, but Luigi... No, this is he, he got all the riz. He got all the game. The trick is to, yeah, not even have to go up through anything. It's just to be above it as it's revealed. I fucked it all up right at the end. <laughs> Whoever is the owner of the white sedan, you left womp, your lights on. Womp womp. Yeah, I don't know why it, sometimes it's not working. I have a 300 character limit on it, so it, you should be able to type as much as you want. At least I'm getting the jump kind of timing down. I walk up the basement slowly with the lights off. Hurry up already, eh? I'm trying. I messed up the, the jump that I needed more than any jump. Oh, 
Okay. I'll fix the green screen after this. My technical director, Sarah, has let me know that it is getting fuzzy. Oh, let's just beat this level first. Oh, we made it that time. We went through the middle, that's why. Got lucky there, huh? Steffi Weffy. Thank you for trying to help, though. Okay, let's try that. God damn it. All we had to do was I gotta do this whole thing a third time, and I was at it at the end. Steffi Weffy and Brand Rizzy are goats. True. Brand Easy. Brand Rizzy. And Steffi Weffy and Josue. Goated, goated, goated. Oh, fuck me. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna have this level so memorized by the time I'm finished with it. Holy shit. Oh my god, the green screen's even worse. Yahoo. Try that. No, I know you care. I know you care. I know you didn't mean to do what you did. He has become one with the green screen. Thank you. That's so nice of you. You care about me or something? Guys, she cares about me. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine? All right, at least I got the timing down on this spring finally. You just have to be a little late with it. You have to like wait till he's already landed. That's all it is. I don't know what any of this shit is and I'm fucking scared. Yes. 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 Get in the pipe. Sarah has a big heart for rescues. That's why she loves Pop. Holy shit. <laughs> that is really fucking mean. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was mean, but it was funny. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. First try. <laughs> oh, I love carrot cake. Carrot cake is one of my favorite. Oh god. The Rizzler. Hell yeah. First try.
Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> You're fine, Steph. I thought it was funny. Don't worry about it. Mmm. <laughs> Fucking love carrot cake. Seriously. Now nah, I'm craving it. Oh, Brandizi got carrot cake? Nice. Yeah, carrot cake does fucking slap. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. These are good. What's that? Oh, they're from the farmer's market, huh? Mm. The way the juice trickles down your face like the plums. I was plum surprised. Hell yeah, dude. Congrats on the graduation, Brandeezy. Seriously. I love that you treated yourself with some Whole Foods ass fucking bakery shit. I do the same. Whole Foods has to be a celebration meal because it's so fucking expensive. They have a lot of good food there, though. Can you say the word fuck on TTS? I don't know. Shut up, Pop. You're not funny. <laughs> Nova Black, I see you, I see you, motherfucker. <laughs> That's so funny. Holy shit, guys, this has been a really successful stream, I gotta say. 125 followers in one go. Tons of text-to-speech happening. With a PhD New in Riz and W skills. All right, Systematic Vibes. Gaming, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for entering the community. It's always good to have more cool people in here. Thank you again. It was a pleasure meeting you as well. Hope to see you in the future. And if you stream yourself, happy to support you and go check you out. You seem like a cool person. Thank you. Hope to see you again. We're going to be playing some Dragon Ball Kakarot tomorrow for Weeb Wednesdays. And then eventually, Kingdom Hearts. We're on the Frieza saga, so we'll be done with Kakarot fairly soon. We're taking our time. We're having fun. I'm geeking out over it. What time will you stream tomorrow? Same time, Rustin Bustin. 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. If you want, guys want to stay updated, I mean, that's... You'll see the stream schedule in my TikTok bio. Um, pending some changes on, you know, extenuating circumstances days. Uh... I will update my schedule via Twitter as well as the Discord. So if you want to check me out on Twitter or join the Discord, those links are also in the description. So you can check it out there. Rizology. <laughs> yeah, we're all proud of you, Brandeezy. Congrats. I know that you were working hard. We got a lot of graduates. We got Havix. He's not here right now, but he was finished with school. Sabrina's finished with school. We got a... We gotta give a big shout out to our graduates and our done with the semester year slash whatever this year because that shit's hard. And it's always super nice to have that little reprieve in between. And I'm glad that Sabrina's choosing it to spend it with us. Playing Mummy and the Sphinx and watching Mario and Zelda, etc. So, it's been a lot of fun. Playing Sly Cooper too. Playing all sorts of good shit. Ooh, the double wombo combo. They weren't ready for it. They didn't want the smoke. They got the Luigi Rizology. You bot. Oh, I actually do on YouTube. I plan on streaming tonight if you'd like to stop by a little late at night, but nonetheless, yeah, no, I will try my best to come check you out. Everybody go give a follow to Systematic Vibes Gaming. He's uh, live on YouTube, and it looks like he's got a lot of content there. So, yeah, he seems like a cool person. Go check him out. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate you. 
and yeah, sorry if I'm if I'm like you know misgendering when I say man. I just say man to everybody. I say man to Sarah. <laughs> so just know that that's not intentional or anything. I just say that to everybody. Curse of being a dude, bro. Oh yeah, thanks for inviting Rust and Bust into the lives, Josue. I appreciate that too. Will, will another platform come? What is all different with the Luigi playthrough? Um, just the way he moves. He has less traction, he kind of slides around, which makes it more difficult, but it also makes it slightly easier because he jumps higher. So it's a little bit of both, you know? God. It's definitely worth playing. Fuck. <laughs> it's definitely worth trying to play it as Luigi, uh, in my opinion. He plays just different enough to make it different and fun. Luigi got that moon jump. Yeah, dude. He jumped so high. But his, his slipperiness is what makes it difficult. Like every time you land, unless you just stop before you even land, he slides. See? See that little bit of slide? That can fuck you up a lot, actually. How good are those strawberries? Really good, actually. Really, really good. Got the juice trickling down your mouth. Feel it down in my plums. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. You guys know what I'm talking about? Have you seen the Luigi got that dumpy bumpy? Oh, <laughs> Luigi got that dumpy bumpy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard dumpy bumpy. That's awesome. <laughs> um, have you seen that eastbound and down? Ashley Schaefer, Will Ferrell, uh, <laughs> outtake, where he's talking about his plums. Just look up Will Ferrell plums on YouTube. That shit's some of the funniest stuff that Will Ferrell's ever done, in my opinion, and not many people know about it. It's just him riffing on Eastbound and Down, and he's just making everybody, including himself, laugh too hard. They couldn't even put that part in Eastbound and Down. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, man, Brandeezy, you're clearly a person dedicated to self-improvement. And for that, we congratulate you. And we give you all that riz. Because <clears throat> that's what it's all about, brother. Growing every single day, getting a 1% better every single day. That's all that matters. Or at least, and if you don't get 1% better every day, at least you're trying, you know? The effort doesn't always yield the rewards that you desire, but they often yield rewards of their own. W in I'll make a YouTube channel where I critique pop streams. Yeah, do it. I need to find out how to improve <laughs> other than my own criticism, which is, let's be honest, L criticism of myself, L. should always strive to be more than what you are. You don't always reach that goal, but often the pursuit yields its own rewards. I believe that that Talks was Data who said that on Star Trek, today. The Next Generation. Well, I believe in it. I believe in these things that I say because, you know, just like most people, I'm 52 years old. I've lived a life. I know it can be a son of a bitch. And I know it's not easy for everybody. But I think that taking solace and knowing that other people struggle with it, too, and they're there with you, can help people, you know, reach their full potential. Or at least, you know, have happy lives. That's what everybody, I think, deserves at the end of the day. <clears throat> you got one life to live, man. Make it count. Enjoy yourself. Don't do it at the expense of people. Don't hurt others. 
but also don't let other people influence you to not enjoy yourself. Life is meant to be thrived in, not survived in. Shit, I needed the I, I needed the uh, star. Got to go back and get it this time. Yeah, I mean, like, for instance, this is a good example. Pop that was bars. <laughs> Thank you. If I was streaming, just for the sake of getting viewers and, like, getting big or whatever, I would not be streaming today and not have the audience that I have. I stream to fucking nobody because my value system wasn't in becoming famous or getting really big with it. It was... Just the fact that I wanted to meet other cool, like-minded people who were chill and liked the same video games and topics that I did. And look, if I had that mentality of only streaming to get big, I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be meeting you guys. But sometimes, yeah, we'll try something out. It won't work immediately, but as long as it's making you happy, just keep doing it, you know? And again, often the pursuits itself will yield its own rewards. It may even be better than what you wanted in the in the first place. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, what do we got to do here? <laughs> Pop for prez. No. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! All we had to do was follow the damn. Currently on vacation, or I mean, galactic survey duty. <laughs> See? See? Even Toad, even Captain Toad gets it. They're there to chill, but he feels the need to be like, "Oh, we're, we're actually very busy." <laughs> fucking enjoy yourself, bro. You're not an exploration mission. You just want to fucking enjoy yourself. Don't let anybody make you feel other. Oh, I have to get the fire flower to light the torches. Duh. A dur. Uh, uh, excuse me. Sorry. All right, let's go light those sons of bitchin' torches now, shall we? Fucking bars. Ops, I'm applying for grad school. Give me a speech. Fuck yeah! I hope that grad school. I hope that you're able to fund it easily. I hope you're able to find the time. I hope that grad school gives you the opportunities to do what you want to do, actually. And at the very least, let's say, like, hypothetically, that's the thing, too, is, like, you don't put too much, many expectations on yourself, because you can often let yourself down. So, just know that even trying for grad school, that's a journey in itself. Whether you complete grad school or not, it doesn't matter. It was what you were meant to do, right? Because, who knows, you might learn something about what... Learning what you don't want to do is also learning, you know? So, if you have a specific goal in mind and you don't reach it, don't get down on yourself. Just know that that will lead you to whatever your other goal is. You'll have a different goal. Fucking bars, look at him go shooting from the hip. <laughs> Guys, I oh my god, we reached 130 followers. Thank you, Mrs. Griff. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you all for the big follows. I really appreciate you. Thank you, Alicia Leash. What how do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. Alicia Lola. See? <laughs> if I had gotten down on myself and said I'm not gonna stream because I can barely read, I wouldn't be streaming here today. <laughs> Don't let being illiterate stop you from your dreams. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you, guys, for the follows. Super cool of you. We've, we've grown the community so much in just this day alone. It's been such a fucking blast. I hope to see you guys. Honestly, Swag, a longtime follower of mine, said he wasn't thinking he was going to like the Dragon Ball streams because he just knows nothing about Dragon Ball, and he ended up having a good time, so... Even though we're not playing Mario tomorrow, we're playing Dragon Ball Kakarot. I still hope to see you guys because we're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be vibing. We're going to be joking. We're going to take some L's. And I'm going to be geeking out over Dragon Ball. So 
if you guys have any interest in learning even just a little bit about the lore and uh, an L take person's fandom of it, uh, come check out the stream tomorrow, Weeb Wednesdays. And when we're done with Kakarot, I guess we're going on to Kingdom Hearts and then hopefully eventually Persona 5. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, how do we get this son of a... We got to get this guy in a light or something. Ugh. I love Luigi's voice. Charles Martinet is such a goat. Shoot the bubble flood. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Still Mario Galaxy? It is, yes. No, 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 this is Mario Galaxy. God damn it. Oh God, I'm about to get fucked up here. Can't have them all converge on me like that. Lure them over here. Oh fuck. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come to the light. Got him. Piccolo, pic, I would say Piccolo's the best father in Dragon Ball, but then Vegeta kind of ended up being the best father in Dragon Ball. To everyone's shock. Fucker. There we go. There we go. Vegeta is the best father. Ever heard of Minecraft? No, what's Minecraft? I'm 52 years old. <laughs> Don't be griefing me about Minecraft. Mm -mm -mm. Namekian shit. Um, actually, Namekian is spelled N A M E K. Get it right. They don't survive on food. They're like plants. They survive on water and sunlight. <laughs> Vegeta really raised his, his and Goku's son like a dog. <laughs> Favorite DBZ villain? Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, back when he was a villain, probably Vegeta. Um, let's see. Favorite DBZ villain that's not Hmm. I'm kind of weird in that I liked the androids 17 and 18. The the offs shoot of Future Gohan and Future Trunks fighting with 17 and 18 is one of my favorite parts of Dragon Ball Z. Asterisk Namekian. <laughs> it even read it right that time. I'm just joking, Brittany. I don't give a shit about that. So I was just joking. The story was so sad too. Yeah, and that Gohan, that Gohan was fucking goaded. That's courage too. Just like knowing that like you're gonna get teamed up on by both of them, but still taking them on anyway. Come on now. Yeah, the cell, the cell arc is probably my favorite, just because I love the theme of fathers and sons in um in Dragon Ball Z at right, that era cuz like think about how differently Vegeta treated Trunks versus like how and like you know I'm going to say something controversial here but Goku was a good dad to Gohan in the hyperbolic time chamber he was a bad husband taking a year away from being <laughs> with her son being his wife being with her son but he was a good dad during that period i mean he fucking Changed from using the Masenko to the Kamehameha in there, so it's not like he didn't learn anything from him. And the motherfucker went Super Saiyan because of him. Oh my god, I'm such a fucking nerd over this. It's so dumb. Oh, this is one of my favorite levels, though. Glad we're here. We're gonna be- alright. We're talking a lot of Dragon Ball. Guys, save it for tomorrow, because I'm gonna talk about Dragon Ball till I'm blue in the face tomorrow. Seriously, and we I hope to nerds. see you there. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Big gift pop. Look you well, bozo. <laughs> Thank you for the gift, Megan. Oh my god, Megan. Just 
gifting so hard today, uh, yet again. Thank you. You're the best for that. Yeah, the fact that Gohan fought him with one arm, I mean, god damn, what a fucking badass. I think also, yeah, it, it was established already. Gohan was stronger than 17 and 18 at that time. It was just they would team up on him, though. Yeah, but I'm also, you know, I'm biased because I'm such a... Gohan and Piccolo are, like, my favorite characters. So that's why I loved the most recent Dragon Ball Super movie. That was such a treat for a fan like me. 80 stars. 80. I don't have 80. 80 for Brady. We need more bits. You got that Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy soundtrack going on. Oh, oh, bits! Oh my gosh, we're so close. I think I can grab some bits and then go back. Uh, I'm just gonna have to get more on the next run. No big deal. We'll just beat the level how it was intended. Got that dog in me. <laughs> oh shit! I wasn't looking. I was reading. Got that dog in me. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna geek out hard over Dragon Ball tomorrow, guys. So same time tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can make it. We're gonna be playing some Dragon Ball and talking all sorts of debates and I lore and shit. Breezy. It's gonna be so much fun. Dragon Ball is the one thing that I can geek out over till the fucking sun goes down, seriously. Like, I used to be a huge Star Wars fan, but not recently. Basically not since Rogue One. <laughs> And when we were doing Star Wars week in preparation for Jedi Survivor, it almost depressed me how much I had fallen out of love with Star Wars. <laughs> I was like, I wish I could geek out the way y'all are doing in the chat right now, but I just don't care. Like, it all just doesn't matter. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm talking about Dragon Ball, like, you know, the lore that was written basically in the 80s. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so cool. And like, that really doesn't matter. <laughs> Especially Super wiped out a lot of, a lot of the debates and stuff. Growing up is realizing Vegeta is the best character. Yeah, he kinda is. Like, I can ob I can look back objectively and be like, yeah, probably Vegeta is the best character. He's the most interesting. He's got the most interesting arc in all of Dragon Ball Z. Um, but yeah, from a just biased, subjective standpoint, Piccolo and Gohan, always for me, because that's where I started my Dragon Ball journey, was watching Piccolo beat up Gohan in preparation for the, the Saiyans, you know, so it's always gonna hold that special place in my heart. You know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? Damn, there's tons of bits this time. This is where you gotta come to farm the bits. Love her to bits, I wanna kiss her on the lips. Yeah, the fact that, dude, seriously, the fact that they, like, erased GT from canon and continued the magic of Dragon Ball with Super is such a treat for us fans. Seriously. On a scale of 1 to 10, how baby game is this? Rogue One was the best Star Wars movie. Yeah, Jose thinks so. Josue thinks so, too. That's why he said, oh, absolute mega Chad. Dude, I fell asleep during Rogue One, and I was... So excited to see it. I was so bored. The trailer and the premise and everything had me more excited for any Star Wars movie since, like, Revenge of the Sith had come out. The Force Awakens at the time. And I fell asleep, dude. I hated Rogue One. Because you're 52, old man. That's right. No, you're not wrong. Yo, I never saw Rogue One. It ain't worth it. 
GT not being canon was crazy. GT sucks though. GT was so all over the place. It was so confusing. Like power levels were just all over the place. Nothing made sense. All right, we've been here for a while. Let's try out a different world. And I think we're gonna wrap up this. We've been streaming for nearly five hours, y'all. Almost 140 followers. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to be I'm going to wrap it up in 10 minutes because yeah, yeah, just this stream was so successful. I got carried away. I was not anticipating this today. The damn train, CJ. Thank you, Ryan Uzi. For the follow. Oh, but have you ever seen Big Fat Liar? Oscar worthy, dude. Sarah brings up brings up Big Fat Liar, Liar more than anybody I know. Big Fat Liar <laughs> on God, bro. On God, one of the best movies. I don't even have enough bits. I should go farm the bits in Molten Core World. Okay, yeah, I need to go get more bits. I don't have enough, bro. I'll be back. Oh, I should have given my bits to this bozo. Oh, well. Next time. Wait, 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 let's go back to the fire world and, and farm some bits, because I just got done saying that that's a good... That's a good one to farm some bits on. <laughs> you just get it. I love that. <laughs> he doesn't... Frankie Muniz doesn't remember filming, but he's Jason Shepard. How can he forget he's Jason Shepard? Y'all are ridiculous for standing, fucking big fat liar. <laughs> you think we can get to 140 before the stream ends? You and 150. Can you imagine 150 followers after one stream? That's better than Sly. That's better than Sly Sunday numbers, y'all. I think the most amount of followers I had in one stream it was definitely on Sly Sunday, and I think it was like. Almost 300. I'm not even joking. People love Sly Cooper, dude. They are hungry for Sly Cooper, and I get it. You know, after playing Sly Cooper for the very first time this year, I get it. Coming from somebody who grew up on Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank, I know that a lot of you guys have heard me say this a million bajillion times, but we got some new people in here, so I gotta reiterate. As someone who loves the Jack and Daxter and Jack 2 games as some of my favorite games of all time, I can admit that Sly Cooper, especially uh, 2, is a better game. It's a better design game. There's more to it. It's just objectively better. And I'm, I'm kind of sad that I, I missed it growing up, but I'm, I'm sort of glad that I did miss it growing up because I wouldn't have found this community. Y'all are y'all are goaded. Goaded with the sauce. Thanks for the corn host sway. I think that's about four cents that, that, that you donated, so I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Son of a fuck. Big gift pop. Look you well, bozo. Thank you for the corgi on skates. Give Freddy a nice big pet for me, Megan. Got to get going now, unfortunately. Don't worry, Rust and Bust. I'm, I'm about to end the stream here, too. Thanks for hanging out today. It was uh, good to have you, and thanks for sharing uh, the stream with her host way. I appreciate you bringing people in here. Especially goaded people with the sauce like Rustum. Wow, I almost got hit there. See y'all later, little boy. Little boy. You won't get far, little boy. This is a baby game, little boy. I was like, why are you bragging about being good at it? Dude, Sly Cooper won the ending? That is not baby game shit. That is... That's Crash Bandicoot 1 level hard. Maybe even harder. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Thank you for the follow. Where are we looking at, Kyle Edwards? We are close to 140, y'all. 140 on one random Tuesday stream? That's 
pretty fucking good. All we had to do was follow the damn oh, train. Oh, good thing I picked up that super mushroom. Trust the fungus. All we had to do was Thank you for the follow, John and Nash. They want to see it. They want to see it. What? Let's go. One more follower. That's all it takes. Bye, me. You also have a lovely evening. Yes, I'm streaming tomorrow. Same time. You can check out my stream schedule in the description on TikTok. That's when I'll be streaming unless I say otherwise. Can you believe it? We got to 140 follows. 140 follows on a random Tuesday stream playing fucking Mario. Mario's going to make it to the... Mario games are going to make it to the weekly, um, weekly games played. I have to do it have to now which i'm okay with because mario games are some of my favorite thank you Brittany. thank you daniel thank you matt for pushing me over the edge there this has been an extremely extremely successful stream this live stream has been awesome thanks for cheering me up pops anytime Alyssa. I, i'm glad that you're feeling better you deserve it You are not alone. Nobody is alone in this world. Even when you feel like you are, there is somebody. So always reach out. Because things have the potential to get worse, but always remember too, things always have the potential to get better too. Two sides to every coin. And I know sometimes it I feels like it can't get better, but it, it, I promise you it can. Promise you on God, on God for real with the sauce. And I know for my 52 years of being on this earth. I just found the stream and I love the vibes. Thank you, Brittany. It's good to have you. I like your vibes too. You've been chill ever since you came in here. Oh God. Okay. Gotta recenter. Bye, Pops fam. Love y'all. Love y'all. Oh God. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta focus. This is motion controlled. These things usually stress me out too. Go, go, go! Let's follow the damn train, CJ. Seize the gap, you cow! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> All right, we gotta jump. Gotta jump here. <laughs> First try, you jabroni. That was fun, though. I like those ones. I'm playing on the Switch. I'm playing the Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Hence the Pro Controller and not the Nunchuck. I like playing on this one a lot better. I am not good at video games, so I'd rather watch other people play. Hey, but you know what? You don't have to be good at video games. As long as you enjoy them, that's all that matters. I'm not good at video games. I'm really not good at video games, but yeah. Anytime, anytime you want to come hang out and chill, we're very chill here, and we like to just meme and have a good time, so. Part of the game stressed me out. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Jordy, and thank you, Charlie. Jordy LaForge over here. This is not two, this is one. This is uh, Mario Galaxy 1, Nash. I'm going to be playing two eventually. Gotta work it into the schedule. Maybe Mario Monday. Maybe is Mario Monday. Daredevil Comet. Oh wait, how many bits did I earn? A hundred, I still need a lot more. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna end the stream, guys. It's been super fun. This was way more successful than I had ever anticipated it being today. We had so many followers. You're killing these rounds. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm in like in a flow state just talking and not even like half paying attention to the game and somehow pulling it off. <laughs> You're feeling better from the pain? Good, good. I'm, I'm glad. I hope you recover nicely. Well, I'm really glad to have met a lot of you today. Uh, we, we've had a lot of our recurring viewers here today as usual, but we've got a lot of new ones. And I really appreciate you being here. I'm glad to hear that. You just happened upon the, the stream, Brittany, and you're having a good time. I hope to see you some more in the future. 
we have a lot of good time try to stream here every day um but i'll let you know otherwise if i can't four more to 150 can we make it uh i'm just gonna do my little outros here i'm gonna let you know how you can support me and hopefully we can reach 150 in that time but if not no worries because this is I'll be honest with you, 145 more followers than I thought I was going to get today. So you guys are the goats. <laughs> System I have returned and I have food. Systematic vibes. I am wrapping up the stream right now. But thank you so much for being here. Guys, go check out Systematic Vibes Gaming. He's going to be streaming on YouTube later. Thank you for everything, you guys. For real this time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nova Black. Thank you, Brandeezy, Mace Face, Iana, Lizzie. Yeah, thank you for being here for the awesome stream. You guys, see, that's the thing. Is I am nothing without you guys. You guys have made the stream awesome. I've just been acting you as a filter <laughs> for everybody's riz. Y'all got the riz. You're go to with the sauce. Check out all the links in the description on the link tree on TikTok. Or, yeah, on TikTok to support the stream. There's a Discord link there. YouTube, Twitch, a VOD channel if you want to go check out some of the old VODs. Um, I will be here tomorrow at the same time, 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Um, so just check when that time is for you, wherever you are at in the world. I really appreciate you. We got to stay positive and stay on your grind, you know, and, and keep your head up. Allow yourself to enjoy yourself and don't be so hard on yourself, but also push yourself to be better because that's what life is about, right? Growing and changing every day, whether that be 1% or at least trying that 1%. That goes a long way, too. Thanks, you guys. You guys have been awesome. It's been so fun to have you here. We're two away from 150. I thought maybe we could get there, but I'm going to have to end it here soon. Oh, we got one. All right. Should we stick around for the 150th follower? Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, you guys. Almost to 150. Ooh, I'm, gonna, I'm like this close to ending. Oh! Oh! Thanks, you guys. You guys are seriously, you guys are seriously the best. It's been so fun hanging out with y'all. I hope to see you guys in the future streams. It's been an absolute blast. Lady, thanks you. A lot of this support is going towards her too for nice steaky treats. Oh, thanks you guys. No, we got it, dude. 150. Let's go. Thanks you guys. Uh, this has been super fun. I'm loving the text to speech. I'm hoping to just keep improving the stream, keep making it more fun for y'all, make it even more fun for me. Today was super successful. 150 followers on a random Tuesday stream. Thanks, you guys. This is this has been a fucking blast. Thanks to you. I hope to see you tomorrow. We're going to be playing Dragon Ball Kakarot for Weeb Wednesdays. Probably uh, I'll let you know what we're playing on Thursday. Sphinx and the Mummy Friday. Zelda T Tears of the Kingdom Saturday. And Sly Cooper 2 on Sunday. And on and on it goes. And we will have a great time. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much. This is Galaxy 1, Alyssa we keep our points you absolutely do as long as you return to the stream and you stay a follower if you unfollow it resets the points so you do get you do get to keep the points thanks you guys um i gotta go eat dinner and do a lot of other things tonight because i ended up streaming a lot later than i anticipated so thanks you guys for making it so fun i don't know how much more i can thank you you guys have just been the best this has been awesome have a good night, you guys. Keep your chins up. Drink lots of water. And I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace. No worries, Mike. Uh, hopefully I can catch you tomorrow. Check out the VOD, though. This was a very successful stream. It was very, very fun. All right, gal. Take it easy. Be well. Be your best. Peace. Forty thousand likes damn thanks you guys god damn y'all are the goats with the sauce on god on god for real